Hi there guys, welcome to the Coastal Convoy in aid of the RNLI. Um, the Dono bar bit that you see there is their just giving progress bar, um, which let me quickly switch to restream. So the link is up in the text. Um, so the RNLI, just to give you guys a bit of an insight while I am heading to Tree ET. Um, is a fundraising service. Well, the RNLI itself is a life-saving service based in the UK and Ireland and that includes Republic of Ireland. Lights on. Um, my truck is painted into the RNLI colors. To remember that I am UK driving. Um, we may get spoken to by people on CB radio. I need to just check my CB settings, which I'll do once I'm at the public parking because Truck Fest starts at. 11 a.m. BST, which is in seven minutes. Nobody's here. Uh, oh, I also need to check an email. I've just had an email come up that I like the look of. I need to double check that in a mo once I'm parked up. There's not going to be an AFK kick on this, which is good. Um, so I'm half expecting somebody that I know is going to be here at public parking to... say something. Spin around here, it's non collision. I'm just going to park here for a sec. Let's sort out CB setting sound. That one. Let's go and park up actually with. Uh, Zego. Woo, that was bumpy. I'm gonna park up just in front of Oh come on. There we go. While I'm checking this email, I'll quickly read out the Streamlabs chat that went into um, the chat. Um, Oh, 
Im I need to do some hunting. Uh, Tully, I've literally just sent you a DM filler. Um. Morning shift, can I get a sip? Oh, no, I'm not on there. Morning shift, can I get a CB radio check over? Just letting you know that you are live on Twitch and YouTube right now. How's your day been so far, Hunter? Eventful this morning. Any idea of what I sent you in the DM? Because I 
I've tried hunting for it and it's not come up. Uh. Oh, inventory. Uh. Yeah, Hans, did you get my um, in game chat message lot, um, yesterday? Uh, possibly. I had so much going on yesterday, it's unreal. I've only had two days this week where I've not been live. Sorry, can you do? I'm going to de send you the. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, it's a weird one. Um. Because they're the ones that sent it. Alright, no worries. Thank you. Yeah, I tried to search them on there and it wasn't bringing anything up. So I'll delete that one. Okay, fair enough. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. That is absolutely fair. Um, oh, I love the fact that Jones has... Uh, Yes, uh, tag to that. Yeah, no, that's fair, Tolly. Cheers, man. That's what I thought I'd ask you about it, because obviously you've done Twitch a lot more um, than what I have, considering. Um... You're, you're coming up to a, how many years affiliate now? Three years already, man. I'm only coming up to... Frickin' hell, I'm coming up to two in January. January 2nd. That's insane. How's your um, train game going, Hunter? Which one? I've got about four different ones that I play. I'm half hoping that you guys can hear CB mic, uh, the CB radio. Um, do let us know if you can't. You got affiliate in six days.
cool. I have turned it up a little bit. If it is too loud, do let us know. Um, I've had to turn Spotify down to hear me truck. I'll turn that down a little bit. How's that now? And I can get away with wearing this top today because we are an aid of the RNLI. Tell Cal to go do one for a change. Nah, don't mean it. Yeah, no worries, Tolly. Uh, so, oh, that's a thing. I need to quickly check the YouTube feed, make sure that's got the links in it. Mute your own stream. Yeah. So, guys, if you do watch on the YouTube, if you are watching on the YouTube, the donation link for the event is in the description below. Um, so, do go and donate if you can. I'm not streaming this as an official streamer for the event. Um, however, I have been given the links for being able to show the progress bar, the alerts when they come through. Um, I've got a dono ticker as well. Um, so if people, as and when people do start donating, um, I will um, be able to sort the donation ticker out. You know what? I'm actually. start the donors because then I can sort out the donation tickers while I'm waiting um, Do bear with me a sec. Hey Ruby, thank you for the lurk and welcome on in. Let's get that going. Studio mode, donation ticker. Hopefully that'll update shortly.
There we go, that's just updated. Uh, hopefully. few people streaming this today. Um, that screen eventually. Right. Uh, I'm going to hit the transition button because I've updated. Um, I needed to clear a name off of my source list this one, let's put it in on here as well. That's the other side this time. Alright, transition again. There we go. So yeah, if you do donate, you will obviously come up on stream. Um, we've got that now. I've now got that set up. Um, so do go and help support. Um, I do fundraise for them normally, um, and I'm always chucking a few pence on that in while I'm there. Right. Try this 
them. I'm basically closing everything I don't need. Um, don't need that. That's up, that's up. Cool, we are all good to go. I thought I'd kickstart the donations off because it's for the RNLI. Um, obviously, due to recent world events, um, most collections and that, that I'd normally take part in haven't been able to happen. Um, unfortunately. them just pinpointing somebody down to this area. Let's have a quick look. So truck fest has started. Um, the first route uh, gallery. I want to bring this up on my phone because I know I've taken a picture of it. Um, so Route 1 is kicking off at 12 noon BST, so we have got a little while yet before the event kicks off, um, which is a little bit of a shame, but I wanted to be here for the truck fest. Um, so that I'm here for the full event. I will be here for all three routes, um, which the organisers and that are aware of. That's the event organiser that I've just said hi to. I am in the public area. Um, I have got other fellow VTC guys here um, within the public area because our VTC doesn't actually have a slot um, as most of the VTC will be attending the TFM convoy later. Um, unfortunately I won't be attending that one. Um, this is going to be a long enough stream already and TFM can just drag unfortunately um, but normally I would attend the TFM convoys um, with my VTC um, but I would end up having to also change my top because normally I wouldn't be wearing this top on stream um, but because we are fundraising for the RNLI I am able to um, so we've still we have unfortunately got a little while before the start of the event um, It is going to be a little annoying driving with um, D 
the in the public area because I'm not used to driving with public. Um, so map one, we are heading. All the way down, uh, we are cutting. Uh, no, we're not going that way, we are going that way. Down to Felix Dive. Um, I need to double check actually. Because uh, somebody did, I know somebody did ask. Um, so it is the port. So I'm going to do my route to there and then it's going to be CC'd anyway so it's not too big of an issue. Um, but yeah, hopefully should be a decent event. Um, keeping my eye on general. Give you a little shot of my truck, which you can't see properly in this light, but I have painted my truck to look like a lifeboat um, with the old orange and blue. Uh, public slot is a uh, tree ET in Aberdeen. Oh, shift's doing tail. Okay. Who else have we got in public? That's Jones. A few people over there. Got RLC appearing over here. Uh, we are starting in Aberdeen. Truck Fest and Route 1 is starting in Aberdeen. Um, so, if, you, if you're if joining public, you need to come over to Tree ET. Uh, and that is where Route 1 will be starting from for the public. Shift is invited.
Just got to make sure that I don't accidentally uncouple my trailer. Uh, truck fest start has already started. Uh, route one starts in about thirty two minutes. About thirty thirty two minutes. Hey, reference here. Not too sure he knows where he's going. Yeah, number, why are you not driving with the rest of Eve today? I stick out like a sore thumb looking like a lifeboat on wheels. Yeah, midnight. I stick out like a sore thumb looking like a lifeboat on wheels. Yeah, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, I know full well who you are. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Yeah, not too bad. Just waiting for this event to get underway now. Yeah, what do you think of my uh, double trailer combo? I'm not going to lie, I've not really flown around too much at the minute. See, we've got kind of the same paint paint scheme going on. <laughs> yeah, except I'm orange and blue like a lifeboat. Which only makes sense in as we are fundraising for the RNLI. Hey, for what they do for us, it's only fair we do something for them. Oh, I do plenty, mate. I fundraise already for them. Good, but yeah, like I say, for what they do for us, pub, uh, us people, it's time that a lot of people actually got behind them and supported them a bit more. Oh yeah, definitely. So, for those that aren't aware... If I had the money, I'd give some, but unfortunately my back's up against the wall at the moment. Um, I need to find my mouse. So, I posted it earlier. Um, so the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, or RNLI for short, is a charity that is founded upon and driven by their values of selflessness, courage, dependability and trustworthiness one, with volunteers he at their be, heart. Um, a lifeboatman for Weymouth's um, lifeboat. The RNLI is made up of 95% volunteers putting their lives on hold to help others out at sea at a moment's notice. Now, when we say at moment's notice, they quite literally get, uh, the majority of stations get given pages, which are ridiculously loud. And they have to be, because they have to be able to wake you up if you're sleeping. Um, and it's one of those sounds that, if it's going off, you know it's the RNLI pager. Um, they we do rely the RN and I do fully rely on donations from members of the public in order to keep going. Uh, although the service was to be a national service to protect the coasts of the UK and Ireland, um, they do not take any money from the government. Uh, as I said, it is all public donations, uh, and with the RNLI have actually managed to continue to open 
stations rather than close them which is really really good if you're ever in the UK or Ireland lol how <laughs> I literally just said lol out loud But yeah, how the hell did he manage to tip that coming in here? You alright there, Jones? Because this guy just slammed into me. I can see that, but how does someone flip it coming into an entrance like that? Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Start a convoy and somebody's already flipped. Um, so yeah, it... As I was about to say before that happened, um, if you're ever in the UK or Northern and Republic of Ireland and you go to a beach that has lifeguards, they are also trained by the RNLI. It's not just lifeboats that the RNLI do, um, even though the name says Royal National Lifeboat Institution, they do train the lifeguards that patrol some of the beaches within the UK and Ireland. Um, so whenever you see them always thank them for the hard work um, they do it all off their own backs uh, the busiest station for the RNLI is actually based on the River Thames um, in London with the second busiest being a mile and a third out to sea at the end of South End on Seas Pier um, So, and Tower R and Ally, which is the one on the River Thames in London that's the busiest, is manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year round. The R and Ally do not stop for Christmas or New Year. Um, same as the rest of the emergency services. Clocks go back, they do 13 hour shifts. Um, they are trained to the they're medically trained to the same level as doctors because the RNLI is essentially the paramedics of the water. Um, if you are ever on the coast or you're like on the Thames or you're up in one of the locks in Scotland, um, Loch Ness has its own RNLI station to name one of the famous ones up there. Um, literally you dial 999, ask for the Coast Guard and they will get one of the lifeboats out to you or it will be one of the local rescue boats um, that, if it's not an RNLI area. Um, RNLI does cover the majority of the coastal waters, locks and river and the River Thames within the UK. Um, but obviously they don't own all of the rescue services that are water based um, I would have liked to have streamed this properly for them um, you pop uh, oh you're popped up at the back nice and blue I've gone for the old lifeboat look.
Jones, have you been playing Splatoon with your truck? <laughs> Apologies, Jones, I can barely hear you over CB. Yeah, Jones, you're not very audible. Uh, you're coming in a bit low over the CD, but if you are going to change to Viva Colors, I'd recommend you doing it as early as possible because we're starting to get ready here. I'll just, I'll just, stay <coughs> just to confirm, we've got 22 minutes till start. Uh, yeah, that should be right. Ten four. So yeah, we've got a little bit of time before start. Um, oh, my decent. Six. Damn, it won't me. Who is ID sixty eight? Are they on my list or are they not quite in range? Oh, best tuned truck. Okay. And best paint job went to snail transport. because uh, I want to make it a little bit easier to be able to reach my button box. Well, one of my button boxes. So yeah, it is the sad time of just having to wait. Um, we've only got about 20 more minutes. Uh, so I'm going to turn my camera off for the moment. is going to be starting in Rotterdam and going to Gdansk and then Route 3 from Gdansk to uh, Padiski I believe that is um, I also, I'm going to set up each route on my sat nav As and when, I'm not going to bother setting it all in one hit. Um,
I need to edit that. <laughs> I'm waiting to see what a reaction is going to be to that. really annoying that every uh, ETS2 MCG Vietnam welcome on in today's event is in aid of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution based within the UK and Northern Ireland or RNLI for short I did kick I have kick started off the donation bar Um, this guy seems to be having re real fun and games. He managed to tip himself over on the way in earlier on. So we've not got too much longer. We've got about 15 minutes or so before the start of the event. Um, so, just having a little bit of a chill out. Um, oh, you're Tad. Ah, fair enough, man. How on earth did you manage... To, I've got to ask, how on earth did you manage to tip it? coming into tree ET earlier. <laughs> I've got to ask how on the earth you managed to tip. Because that was spectacular. Uh, volume up. Restart. Uh, window capture Excuse me while I try this. Uh, okay, that didn't come up. a slightly different way. Let's minimise that for a sec. I've got it open now, so that's fine. Uh, you. Reduce in size. You. Go away. You can go there. I'm going to expand you down a little bit. screen you uh, no not game capture display capture is what I'm after actually 
that I need that. Properties. That's the one. So I am going to play a short video that's courtesy of the RNLI. Um, all credits do go to them. Uh, I am going to pause the music while it plays. Oh, grab on, grab on. Relax, mate. You're in. Right. Jump on, mate. Take a breath. Take a breath. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. Let me. Um Show over that. Uh, I need to reopen that. I want to get set that to loop. donations go to helping save lives teach people how to stay safe at the coast and that it pays for the crew's training for the boats that they use for the equipment that they use uh, the latest lifeboat which is the Shannon lifeboat uh, including its launch and recovery equipment is just over 3 million pounds and that's all through donations. That's not, there's no additional funding towards it. That is all from donations. And through the RNLI shop. Turn the camera on, we've got just over five minutes before we are starting off this convoy. Um, I am on the right screen, coolio. Make sure I've not missed any messages, uh, somebody got kicked.
Uh, Tad, if you can still hear us, I've only just seen you. PM. What is the time? It's 2.22 in game, so it will be becoming daylight while we're on the convoy, which is quite nice. Um, there are some scenic routes along the roofs that we're taking, um, which is quite nice. I'm just trying to sort my headset out so that it don't hurt, my glass, hurt me with my glasses too much. So we are just waiting for departure. I need to do this through here. Um, so I want to keep the chat up so that I can see what's happening with the chat.
that will get some traction on Twitter. just waiting for the start Thank you for the retweet, and also thank you to the other person that's retweeted. I wish I could edit. Unfortunately, I can't. Okay, we are departing. Um, I'm probably going to end up towards the back of this convoy. Um, Due to the fact that I am in the public parking, and as soon as public get told to go, it becomes mayhem. And as soon as you're out of that gate, it's a collision zone, and I'd much rather not get sent flying. Okay, so who's ready for the pandemonium when public finally get told to depart? until um, most of them have gone before I leave. Same here. I do not fancy getting sent flying right at the start of this route. Hell no. Wait for those MCG guys to get to go a certain way. What about the idiot? One of them is the one that flipped over on your side just coming into the yard. Good job you did move, um, Jones, because someone else came in and done pretty much the same thing. So, slot six is just departing. I'm not even bothering to turn my engine on yet. I'm literally going to wait until it until they turn around and tell public to depart and then I'll switch my engine on because there's no point other than that. Just waste fuel. And there's not many places to be able to fuel up um, at the finish point. There's no fuel actually at the port where we're finishing on this route. So hopefully departure doesn't take too long. But 
but yeah, as Schiff said, grab the popcorn, watch and wait for the carnage to happen. Oh yeah, I'm sitting in prime position, just the other side of it in dev cam. You're doing that, and I'm I'm literally looking straight out at it. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain has. <laughs> nice one, Shift. <laughs> Yeah, can we just try and keep this thing into a minimum? I am live and CB is over stream. Too long before the carnage starts. Oh, we've got a triple trailer in here as well. That's going to be fun. I was going for that, seeing as there was nobody else doing that. Me too. Oh. Just don't forget you are in the UK. Please drive on the left-hand side of the road. Cheers, shift. <laughs> you left too soon, mate. It's all kicking off behind me now. Away with that. <laughs> I'm impressed. Getting out of there without uh, getting into any incidents. Is this guy doing? So we are essentially playing catch up with the rest of the convoy. I don't mind being pedal to the middle. For most of it.
And this guy's right up my ass. He's not going to like it if I have to break. I managed to get out of the public spot without being in the carnage. It was beautiful. I don't want to completely see who that is behind us. Say this, hunters, watch out for them. Be between you and me. There's some, some of them driving a bit erratic. Uh, number 109 has been a little bit of a pain for us at the minute. trying to read my number plates. Yeah, well, the middle one of them three literally bowed past me and nearly took me out. So be careful of them three behind you. That's fine. As long, if they go to overtake, I'll just pull back a little bit and let them slot back in. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I am streaming, so if I need to clip parts of me stream to send across, I'll quite happily do so. Yeah, that's why I thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up. 10-4. There's Ego. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh, I've got Bruising Logistics just in front. A couple of trucks in front. side of having a uh, standalone CB mic. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it feels really, really weird being within the public section at a convoy. Um, Because I'm so used to doing convoys with my VTC, with the VTC, it's like normally we've got a slot, we have a predefined leave order within that slot, and that public's just a whole nother ball game. Here he goes. I'm about to say who's that coming up on the right hand side. That's the one that nearly tipped me out, so watch him. Let him try it, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm keeping a safe distance to the guy in front in case he lags. 
Fair enough, fair enough. There are times where I'm just far enough back, all I see is your trailer driving down the road. Well, sem you're seeing a semi lifeboat. <laughs> Luke, thank you so much for that 50 euro donation. That is so much appreciated, man. Can I just point out that we've just had a 50 euro donation drop in? That should update the progress bar in a moment. Moderate traffic, really? <laughs> Love the fact that people are reporting traffic on a, an event server. Oh, it's all kicking off behind you, but yeah, that makes that that's a bit hilarious. We've had uh, something come up on uh, Coastal Convoy's Discord that looks like I'm tagged in it. So I will have a look at that when we finish the first route. Courtesy of that 50 euro donation, we've just hit 53% of the target already. That is what you want. Yeah, Tolly, that was a leap and a half. I didn't even see that just go vdunk. <laughs> but Luke, thank you so, so much for that donation. It is very much appreciated. The RNLI will be putting that to very good use. I've got the most, the world's two most slowest drivers in front of me. Are they not part of snail transport by any chance? No offence to Snail Transport, they were a bu good bunch of guys. Well I'm beginning to think they might be because they're so, so slightly lagging behind. Oh now they found third, second gear. <laughs> Discord being showing up numbers as tags left, right, and centre at the moment. Yeah, there's fun and games happening behind you. Part of me kind of wants them to hit me. <laughs> now, now, Hunter. I've got front and rear dash cam, it's not an issue. I know it's in your name, Hunter, hey, but you don't need to go out hunting. <laughs> Landy, what's uh, Lightning's server number, please? I want to send him a quick DM, because we are at 53% raised already of the target. It's going to be a matter of time before they do hit you, I think. 
they hit the trailer and I don't feel it, I'm not going to care. Just as long as they don't send me flying. Yeah, Cheers, that's Landy. the best way. Yeah, can you... I'm guessing you're in the CC chat. Uh, did you want to let them know that we're already at £53 raised? One's going for a flying lesson! <laughs> Did one literally go flying directly behind me and I missed it? Yeah, he went he went mountaineering. <laughs> Lol. The one going oh. around them all now. Yeah, no, I accidentally slammed me handbrake on when I was trying to open up the chat. <laughs> Bye, there's Ego. Trucks don't like that. Oh, I'm fully aware. Oh, there goes the other one. Wow, two of them. Viva having to stop for fuel, eh? Well, ones will never cease. Uh, 86 is Tad. What's the server number of the guy that's literally right next to me? So I've got it, 98. Yeah, I was just about to literally say that to you as he pulled forward, so I thought, no, I won't say anything. <laughs> At least we're together now. <laughs> Yeah, I've just got to make sure I don't ride along the barrier, that's all. Yeah, that would help. At least you've got somebody who's going to keep their distance from you now. That is true. Turns, yeah? No promises there, Train, no promises. I'm not going to promise anything there, Troy. Mate, this 109 guy, can he even drive? Surely. Uh, I don't think so. If there's anything to go with what I've seen, you're going to get some cool footage. At least it makes stream interesting. That's what I mean. <laughs> so hopefully we can hit the target and if not smash it I am seriously wondering where they've got their driving licenses from in this game because 
these three in front of us now we really cannot drive. I'm just glad that they're all in front of us and I can avoid them if needed. Train, just to give you the heads up, I had a little bit of a freeze frame. Yes. frames coming up to that junction. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah, what's your speed around these corners here, terrain? And we're slowing down after the second one. Alright, you can call me Night Train if you want. You can call me Red Dragon if you want, or if you fancy it, you can even call me Goose like Shift does, so it doesn't matter. Honk! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's alright, I've heard it all before from school. There we go, look at this mess they were creating up in front of you. <laughs> to the road. Yeah, I saw that as I was coming round the bend. One on oh, the side of the train. shoulder, Jubby. I know. He's obviously got tired of it all. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm just surprised how easily I managed to get out of public parking. Yeah, you left. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to copy you. And then they all started going, like, oh, fucking rip. Excuse my language. Yeah, I, I thought you were streaming then. Nah, you're good, man. You're good. You, at least you apologised. But yeah, no, I'd actually said to stream, I went, Oh, I'm likely to be right at the back of the convoy because I'm going to wait for all the carnage and then just no carnage and I'm like, I'm going for it. Yeah. So the guy one back from me is actually potentially going to join me as a driver for my BTC, which is cool. Ah, fair enough. So he's not the right, the one right behind me. He's the one behind him. Ah, uh, fair. Yeah, I can't actually see trucks that far back. No, I don't know if he shows up on your tab. Is um, take as the Lone Ranger? Oh, I've seen him about before. Yeah, he's. Um, I think he's looking to join my VTC, so we should be quite cool. Well, all the best to you on it, man. Yeah, well, I'm going to give it, I don't know, two, two to five years, and if nothing's happened and things have improved back at Viva, maybe. Sorry, did you just get to 20 chicken nuggies? May. You lucky son of a gun. Although I can't complain. That's what I had yesterday.
Oh. <laughs> you know, I had strawberry milkshake, nuggets, and double cheeseburger yesterday. They do deliver milkshakes. If you do it through um, Uber Eats. That's probably because they couldn't be asked to put the milkshake machine together. point out I've been live less than two hours and we're already just over halfway to their target that they've set themselves that is cool that is what you want to see oh yes whoa Um, what I said earlier when we was all parked up but I used to have a friend that used to work for the um, volunteer for the Weymouth one yeah I did just about catch that I was uh, showcasing a video on the stream at that point fair enough For the reason why I say um, Matt used to is because I haven't spoke to him since 2016, uh, since I was 16, back in 96. <laughs> oh, that's fair. How long ago that was now? 15 years. Sorry, 25 uh, years. <laughs> you know, he used to be a cook in a hotel as well as being a lifeboat um, volunteer, so yeah. Nine's at it again with the overtaken. At least he can cook them their breakfast when they're on the sea. <laughs> Mate, you should see some of the clothing that they wear when they've turned up for shouts. heard stories of one bloke got the pager call in the middle of the night and turned up at the station in just his boxes. <laughs> well, if you got to go, you got to go. Exactly, that pager goes off, you do not have time to hang around and get any kind of clothing on properly. If you're on call, go to bed in your clothes, that's all I'll say. Most of them will tend to at least chuck a pair of trousers on at the, mo at the least and obviously their footwear and just leg it. Yeah, the nice thing about um, my mate um, where, where he was is, I think it was his parents, um, their hotel literally was across the bay from the lifeboat. So all he had to do was get his little dinghy and row across the bay if he was at the lifeboat station. Yeah, it's not too bad when you're nice and close to him like that. It's just the sounds of the pages that can get annoying. Yeah. People think smoke alarms can be loud. They're even louder. Yeah, I can remember being a kid at my nan and granddad's and hearing the um, booms going off from 
someone out, out at sea who's in distress. Many a times I heard that. Unless they've spread themselves out, we're only down to one of those yellow and black trucks that keep like trying to overtake. Yeah, I think the main culprit was that one on the hard shoulder. I think he might have had an issue. Yeah, probably gave himself engine malfunction. Well, there's always um, that slash fix command, but obviously he doesn't know that one yet. No, possibly not. lovely little number three that's lit up on my discord and I can't check it until the end of the route. Ah. You know when you get, when you tag people on discord it at their end it shows up with a little numbered notification? Yeah I've got that showing the number three oh, yeah. and obviously I'm not able to check it properly until end of the route. Actually tell a lie I'm going to be naughty and use my phone. <laughs> Takes in driving, it's dangerous. Oh, and there, he, there he starts swerving all over the shop. One hand, it was the same CB radio mic in, in that hand that's steering. Yeah, I'm likely to swerve a little bit. <laughs> there, there you go, folks. Never text and drive. Yeah, do not text and drive. I do not condone it at all. Just a heads up, 71 just pogoed. Nice. Where's Zebedee? Or Tigger for that matter. <laughs> Lit. So, so I'll just check one of them and somebody's literally put PMSL as a response to me putting a picture of my truck in the media channel saying make way for the lifeboat. Nice. I'm loving this staff with its 750 horsepower engine in it. You in a new one by any chance? I am, sir. Yeah, it's one that I'm yet to check out. In the base game, they're only 550, but I've um, found a mod that in the workshop that actually allows the 750 engine to work on TMB. You lucky sod. I can't find them. So I've got a 750 brake cause power engine with a 6 speed gearbox on it. Anybody for traction? Eh, it's not too bad, it certainly keeps up with um, the, lo the likes of most people. And it goes like like, like um, something off of a shovel. Well, you uh, are quite nicely keeping up with me, what am I running a 730 horsepower?
only thing I've got to be careful of is that the acceleration is um, quite rapid at times. <laughs> yeah, mine, not so much if it's too steep of an uphill. I don't know if you've been to, um, down to Barcelona yet, but with this truck and a trailer like yours, from one roundabout to another by the Renault garage, I can nearly get to 100 along there. I've been down there a few times, just not properly. I've actually barely been on the game since Iberia came out. Yeah, I had noticed. How is your rail, rail um, game going? Railroad's going lovely. I'm still trying to finish off a map at the moment. <laughs> Maps can be tricky. The map itself is all sorted. It's putting the trains in on their timetables. That's the hard part for us. Yeah. I've only got one and a half timetables to go though, so we're all good. Out of nice. eight. Nice. Not bad going. And then that's going to get uploaded to the Steam Workshop for the game as well. Oh right, so you're actually doing it for the game as well as yourself. That's that's cool. Oh yeah. Got to give people the challenge if they want it. Be able to do a full day's signalling on that route. Nice. Very nice. Let's see why you've been spending quite a bit of time on it then. Uh, let's put it this way, early access released Wednesday just gone and up until that release I'd clocked just over 520 hours in game on the demo. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Most of that is literally just working out the timetabling and just making sure that platforms and tracks are where they should be. Yeah, yeah. How many miles left? Get real, man. Well, there's a good question. How many miles are left? Well, let's see, what, the whole convoy, or this just this route? <laughs> uh, just this route, I'm reading 627 kilometres. Yeah, someone was asking game chat, and I said that's a very good question. Oh, yeah, no, I saw it. Last time I ever heard, saw DK was for Donkey Kong. <laughs> I know somebody on Twitch whose first two letters of their username is DK, and it doesn't stand for Donkey Kong. Was that Drift King or? Oh? No, but I am. I do know it's not for Donkey Kong. That was one of the very first questions <laughs> I asked. Nice, very nice. Tolly, you might know the answer to that one actually, what D case uh, D and K stand for. Because I know it, I don't think it is Donkey Kong. Or at least I'm sure it's not Donkey Kong. Whether you're allowed to say or not, it's another matter, but... Or are you too busy eating your nuggies? Will you be getting Farm Simulator 22 or not? Uh, possibly not. Uh, I kind of want to get a add-on uh, peripheral if I'm going to do Farm Sim. No, it's just I thought I'd ask because I've already pre-ordered it, so... Just passing the landing, boy!
<laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm kinda surprised to see one of the TFM guys here when they've got their massive convoy tonight. Well, showing support for great cause. Very, very true. Air train, speed limiter's been disabled. One ten is not maximum speed on this server. I didn't even get up to that sort of speed yet. Now if you open up your chat and do slash server, it gives you all the server details like the AFK kick, how many people are on. Speed limit for Ooh, an you had a lag spike then, didn't you? Possibly. Quite possibly. Either that or I didn't put my foot on the accelerator enough. Well, one minute you were stopped directly in front of me, next next minute you're about 50 miles up, up down the road. Mate, I was still moving on my screen. She weren't with me. <laughs> Hey, at least you know how to keep your distance. True, very true. Slowing down. And it's that bloody yellow and black truck again. That's alright, he's just pulled in for fuel, we can get past him, and then wait for him to overtake us. Yay! Go, go, go! <laughs> Mate, I'd give it about five minutes before he's overtaken everybody again to go try and get back to his position that he was in just now. Oh, hell yeah, I can guarantee you that one. I'm guessing we've got some kind of junction or something coming up because we've seemed to have slowed right down. Unless it's just the consultina effect. Traffic jams travel faster backwards. is not wanting to play ball today. We're keeping a safe distance to the truck in front in case they lag. And I know the person that's behind us, so I know they keep their distance. Which is handy. It just means that we don't have to slam the anchors on, we can just put the brakes on gradually, which is really, really nice. So I'm doing my best to keep an eye on chat, my stream software, Discord, 
the game, most importantly. But do feel free to say hi in chat. If you're watching the stream and you're at the event, if you come on to channels 5 on the CB radio, and you're more than welcome to come and say hi as long as you keep it PG-13. Uh, Luke, if you... Uh, so we're finishing in the port of Felix though and route 2 kicks off in Rotterdam port and it is virtually going to be a free for all from what I can tell you have also been given a mention on the coastal convoys discord coming in my triple container trailer. Yeah, I wouldn't have done. I know somebody there's somebody behind you that's got a triple, I believe. Well there was at least two of them um, that had turned up in a triple. There was that white one and there's a green one. He managed to reverse it all the way down. How he reversed that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, I thought to myself, now nah, I can't really reverse that one too easily, so I'll, I'll stick to my double. Uh, Luke, if you send me a DM on Discord, I'll send you a link to the Coastal Convoy Discord. He's pulled over. Go, go, go. First time I've seen his server number on here, though. He definitely wasn't with the other three earlier. There were quite a few of them, actually. I think there was about four or five of them in total. Yeah, he's, like, he's the fourth one that I've seen, so that makes it about right being at least four of them. Yeah. That's probably why he's pulled over to wait for the office. Quite possible. Yeah, Luke, if you want to meet us at the Felix Doe port, um, we've got 500k before I get there. Um, I'm also on CB5 if you want to come and chat with us through the CB. Um, because I don't know how they're going to plan, how they're going to do the start route. So, so I'd say to meet us at the Felix Doe port, ready for the shift across to Rotterdam, because Rotterdam is just going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, I'm yet to find out how we're going to refuel our trucks for those that are doing this route, because I know Felix Doe port is nowhere near a fuel stop.
Uh, we've slowed down because we're taking that this next exit and it's a 90 degree t left turn at the bottom. Yeah, the ones you don't want to go too fast on. No, I don't fancy putting my lorry on the side. Unlike a lifeboat, it won't self upright. So you don't want to do a Gorgon then? No, I'd rather not. Although he's not been too bad lately, he's been able to keep his trucks on all wheels from what I've seen lately. What's he been taking then? Yeah, I'm not too sure what's happened with him with regard to ETS2. I know he's uh, not been driving as erratically. I took that way wider than I needed to with my trailer. Yeah, I did kind of gather that one. I've got to because I've got double trailers on. Yeah, but your second trailer will follow the same path as your cab anyway. I've noticed they cut in a bit because that one was literally on the edge of the cars. So. Ah, uh, I say no, it depends how you got your double set up because I know some of them, the second part of the trailers would actually follow the cabs line of route around the corner. Yeah, I've got no steering axles on my trailers, so... Oh yeah, you do need to go like a wide boy. I rather swing wide and be able to back it easier than have steering axles and get yourself in a white mess. Very, very true. live with a white turning, that, that's no problem, it's just being able to back it up without having it steer for you, it's a, it's a bliss when it's uh, double like this. Yeah, you want to try driving wagon drags in this game then. The good old tandems. Yeah, I haven't um, been um, had chance yet to play with the big cotton wheel ones like you, you had to play with as yet. I haven't been able to find them. Oh no, I've, I'm talking about the uh, drawbar units that's basically an LGV with a second trailer attached to the back of it. Oh, the HTC. Oh yeah, I've, I've already played with them on, on uh, no, 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 when no, no, shift no. was... Uh, Not the HCTs. Literally, oh, think of a seven and a half tonner with an articulated trailer oh, attached yeah. to the rear. Yeah, 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 I know what you're on about. Be nice actually if they had them in the game. Uh, Landy, pretty good at the moment, man. Um, there's a couple of guys to watch out for with regards to overtake, to them wanting to overtake and that, but apart from that, it's been. Nice relaxing drive at the moment. I managed to get out of yeah, cause you can get the, the public the parking really bar easily. Fixed, fixed trailer, or you can get the dolly trailers, can't you? Yep. I so hope they bring them into the game, because that will be fun to play with. Uh, they are available on single player, but it's going to be very difficult to get them set up for TMP. Yeah, and that's that's the shame bit. I'd love to, them to be in TMP. I really would, but yeah, I know I know how it will be. Mate, could you imagine the CD road or Shirkness quarry with them tra units and trailers? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Could be quite funny and interesting to see. It certainly make for a good episode for Tony doing his idiots on the road series. <laughs> Saying that, I need to see if he's uploaded any more recently. Uh, Landy, I'm at 420 kilometres left. I'm just turning on to the A15 towards Grimsby and Hull. 52, um, 52, mind not driving like an idiot. <laughs> Who's number 52? No 
idea, mate. I just saw it in chat and it made me chuckle. Oh, Azigo is not gonna like that. Hey, Azigo's not gonna like the response that number 52 just gave. Yeah, we do actually have a member of Viva HR that's in this convoy, and they are not gonna like what 52's just put. Oosh. Number 52 is an RLC driver. Uh, Sergeant Tissak, thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in to the coastal convoy in aid of RNLI today. Talk about showing a red rag to a bull. Oh yes. Oh yeah, train, do you like me tagged today? To be honest with you, I haven't got too close to actually see it, because it's in red, but yeah, when, I, when, I, when we next stop, I'll have a look. Literally says Twitch and YouTube space live. Nice. Very nice. Literally I put that as your tag. Yeah, yeah. Go up and down the CD road and just watch people leave you alone. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> I did have one person that tried to overtake and cut me up when I was in a car and I just went straight over channel 19 and went, yeah, you really need to pay attention to people's tags, mate, because you are live on Twitch and YouTube right now, so say hello and welcome to get the Getting Banned Club. <laughs> <laughs> Discord and fairly quiet at the moment. Which I'm actually liking and not liking at the same time. Opposite direction at that junction. <laughs> Someone set their markers wrong then. Uh, I set my markers as best I could with the route maps that they gave us.
I'm not going to lie, I'm actually kind of curious of what route we're physically taking towards Felixstowe and its port. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit um, obscure, isn't it? I'm wondering if we're finishing in the actual city and then we're going to... so that people can fuel up and that and then move over to Rotterdam afterwards. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. And Landy, if you can hear us, whereabouts are we actually finishing on this route? Oh, thank God for that, because I still haven't caught a shiny one of them little sods. And they've upped it to triple catch XP. Go plus going on. Speaking of go plus, where is it? There it is. I think old Landy's up ahead of us. So I see a purple dot. <laughs> That's down to you, mate. I, have, I can't answer that one for you. Oh, I'm aware. Oh, good luck, Tolly. Still need to catch a load of C dot for one of for the December community day one. So don't talk to me about moving on. I've just been seeing no C dots here at all. Yes, I want to pair with me go with me go plus. Cool, connected. leave that running now until we get to the end and then I can have a little look at it. Yikes. Discord's back open it, so Oh, Tolly, can you retweet my latest tweet? Hey, try and have some fun and games with these with twisty turnies. Yeah, we've got one of those black and yellow trucks directly behind me now. He's obviously cut me and my, my friend yeah, up. Yeah, I've just uh, seen him in my mirror. Yeah, exactly. And on these twists, nice timing. Let's try not to get too close. that tooting from behind me makes sense now. Yeah, what? Them overtaken? No, for a while now I've been hearing a tooting, um, someone's been tooting quite a bit. 
and it probably makes sense to keep probably hitting my trailer. <laughs> well, then he shouldn't be trying to read your freaking number plate, then, should he? You know that, and I know that, mate, but you try to tell them that. That's right, I'm going to make a note of their server numbers when we get to the finish point for this route. Yeah, might be wise. Do you like how I'm um, advertising my um, VTC? If you've been doing it in chat, I've not been noticing. Yeah, if you've been doing it in the in-game chat, I've not actually been noticing it. No, the one above my truck. Oh, I can't see that in my mirrors. It comes up in chat as well. I'll do like a Y slash P without doing the Y slash P so it comes up. Oh, you put your actual name in the brackets. <laughs> Nice and slow for the next junction. Yeah, and if you look in tab, you'll see my like ga my game tag, like your Twitch and YouTube is actually my name. <laughs> Makes sense. I thought I'd be a bit crafty like that. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Yeah, within the tab. Suddenly gets it advertised, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Within the tab menu, you can see part of my tag, you just can't see all of it. Yeah, I know, that's that's the downside of the tab being such a small little box, you don't get to see the whole of the, someone's tab, um, tag name. Not when you use all full 19 characters that you're limited to. Yeah. Train, take this corner wide as hell. Oh, don't worry, I plan to. So I just seen him getting stuck. <laughs> he's in a single and he's getting stuck. What the hell? You watch me, I'll just swing through there without any effort. <laughs> With a double. <laughs> yeah, you know it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Landy, if you can hear us, we're at... Um... Oh my good god, what the hell was he thinking? Oh, I can't see. Well, there's a chat, there's an effing chat for him. <laughs> uh, Landy, if you can hear us, we're just at Pro It's Clouds CC point at that junction, and somebody's got stuck on what the barrier. What the heck is he doing? Yeah, that somebody really needs to learn how to take some of these junctions a lot wider than it seems. In a car, that would have been fine. Can I also point out we had a game moderator right after that junction as well? <laughs> yeah, do you see what I mean? I got through that junction without any issue. And <laughs> I got double. Geology Rocks probably saw that and was like, okay, so how the hell can he do it with a double and somebody with a single knot? Yeah. <laughs> 
Lance, Lance, Logan. Because that game moderator had to have seen that um, concoction of a bullshit ball up. Excuse oh, me, definitely. He'd have been watching that junction. And then there's me just goes wee mountain straight through. <laughs> Even I just went straight through it in a single. And no offence, but I probably st stick out like a sore thumb compared to everybody else coloured like this. Hey, you, you were supporting the cause, you're in their colours, so why the hell not? Oh yes, definitely. Oh, nice Tolly. It was just like, <laughs> he made that right <laughs> muck up and there's me. In the double, I'm going to take that, that junction in the double and get through without any issue whatsoever. Here, train, I'll give you a laugh. You know Dragon Ball Z, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've got somebody in my stream calling it, calling my truck the Goko Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And um, I think there's something happened behind us because there's one heck of a gap between me and the guy behind. Yeah, let them have the have that gap. As long as you don't go ramming into the rear of me, I don't mind. Oh, I ain't gonna do that. I might go down the side of you, but either the inside or the outside, but I won't hit you. <laughs> Depends how many lanes I'm straggling. And whether I've had to swerve to miss the guy in front of me. Yeah, I was actually talking about the gap behind me. There's no one behind me for a bit. Yeah, that's fine. It just means you're not going to get rear-ended. Well, not yet, anyway. No time being. <laughs> what is the point of people reporting roadworks and traffic on a goddamn event server? Because they're pathetic. I think they kind of forget we've got our own eyes to look out of. Exactly, and I swear this guy's stopped at the traffic lights. So. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, I've got a guy on the hard shoulder just after the 30 mile an hour signs. Yeah, I've seen him, dude. Cheers. looking chuck though. Oh yeah, I will admit, they do have a not very nice looking skin. I'm kind of wondering if he was part of Snail Transport because they won the paint job truck, uh, truck fest. Yeah. But then at the same time, Snail shouldn't be this far back because they had their own slot. Fair enough. There goes light in the upper way. Thought it was going a bit quick. No speed limiter on the server, remember. Max speed is not 110. Oh, I know, I was in about 130, nearly 140 when, I, when um, we had that nice gap between me and you. Mate, I didn't even notice what my speedo said. Yeah, you see with the DAF you can't miss it, it's got great big bold left numbers clicking up and you get going. It does when you're not looking at the speedo and you're looking more at the road. Oh no, I see out the corner of my eyes what speed I'm doing, even though I'm looking at the back of your truck. Oh, I don't get me wrong, I do glance down at it every now and then, I just don't fully pay attention. Right hand lane, by the way. 10-4, thank you. And 
then merging back into the left, you'll be taking the left-hand exit at the next junction. 10 Somehow, my partner has managed to get back in front of that yellow and black truck. Yeah, the yellow and black truck probably pulled over again to go back to his mates. Yeah, it's only him I see. I don't see any other yellow and black trucks. Oh well. wonder if any of them got kicked. They have done. Don't forget you got shifter in tail as a convoy. Yeah, oh yeah. He's missing out on all the shenanigans. <laughs> he wants he will be thankful he's not part of the shenanigans. That's very true too. Ooh. Yeah, I stayed in the hard shoulder then because uh, I come up on this guy in front of us a little bit quicker than I thought. Hence why I had to dive into the other lane. <laughs> Is that bibbing going on behind you? I don't know if it's my um, partner of this convoy or whether it's that black and yellow truck um, honking, but yeah. I heard that. Yeah. And I don't know which one it is. say it doesn't sound like his horns he's got one of those real high pitch ones mate if it's distance wise I ain't gonna be able to tell the difference whether it's high or low pitch <laughs> all I know is I could hear somebody honking away and I'm like wait a minute yeah, it certainly isn't me you know if it's my horns yeah, I'll go deaf. Oh no, I've only got I've only got four horns on the red for mine. I ain't got the full set yet. Only four? Yeah, two doubles, that's it. Uh, saying that you're not in single player. <laughs> Normally on my multiplayers I've got uh, let's see uh, normal four normally four doubles and a single. Uh, I've got just two doubles, one either side, but I've got a absolute ton of lights and beacons. Yeah, no, I'm, normally, I mean, on my trucks, um, if I was to be my old duff out, I, would, I, I have a ray of horns on that thing. A ray of horns. <laughs> I'm normally running five horns minimum. But five horns on this truck didn't look right. Yeah, I can't actually remember how many I have on there, but sometimes I do have about six horns, I think, in total. Yeah, I use both Some sets of, of the doubles, because they've, when you look at the doubles, if you notice, they've got one that's slightly longer, so I put the longer one on, on the side that opposite to which side it is yeah yeah and then I normally put the little streamer I... one in the middle yeah I normally go with um, on one of them it the handed so you'd have the long horn on the edge on the edge of the cab then you'll have the inner the small the shorter horn 
then the next horn to that would be the short horn, then the long horn, then it'd be long horn, short horn, short horn, long horn. So, but by the time you get to the end of the cab, both long horns are on either side of the, of the cab, <laughs> as well as the, the ones on the actual cab itself. <laughs> if I can enough. get away with it. The annoying part is because I drove for so long yesterday, my knees are already starting to hurt. Yeah, I can imagine. Right, if I we might are, go slow for a little bit while I stretch my knee out. That's alright, dude. If we are stopping before we cross the ferry, I might swap out truck and trailer. Yeah, that's fair. I'm staying in this for all three routes. I just need to make sure I can top her up at each stop like point. Oh yeah, no, um, it's just that uh, showcase in point. Um, and I only really bought out my doubles for the first route and the truck fest. Um, I'd be much happier if I was in a single single trailer, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you might, you might want the singles first. Routes 2 and 3, they look like they've got some really windy bits in them. Yeah, and because of this being a new truck and it's... Um, and with this trailer set up, and I thought it would look smart for the truck fest, that's why I came in it. But like I say, I'll probably switch out um, into my older one and a single trailer. Maybe yeah, my food fair. tanker. Yeah, why not? Let's bring out the old food tanker. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I hate driving with those tanker trailers. I've got a fuel tanker trailer as well, as the food tanker. Yeah, no, I just hate using them. They're, even with trailers being on max stability, they still go all over the bloody place. I don't actually have any problem with my ones. Yeah, but then you don't usually put your foot down as much as I tend to. I wouldn't say that. I've done about 110 round a corner with the food tanker trailer on. And it ain't jumped, it ain't stepped out on me yet. It's always the first time, mind you. Exactly. But so far, touch wood, it's never happened to me. Phone's not staying connected to the Wi-Fi and I'm hating it. Ooh, someone's been a naughty boy. Yeah, that was probably lightning, seeing as he was going that way down that side of the road earlier. <laughs> I love the fact that somebody put in the chat Wreck ban Harvey when Harvey is one of the TMP staff. <laughs> they obviously want to get kicked themselves in. Very strange route to Felix though, I must admit. I was literally just thinking that. But we are, by the looks of it, coming up towards the port. Yeah, I know, I've seen the cranes, but it was like, it was like obviously great minds think alike. Well, I'm showing 80k left.
yeah, talk about going around the houses and a half. That's my thought as well. My next marker is literally at the port, so my sat-nav's fine. <laughs> well, I say it's at the port, it's at the roundabout just before the port, where you can go one of two ways into the port itself. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm probably not going to bother setting the sat-nav for the next two routes if they're changing the routes up like this because their route map did not look like it was coming down this road yeah sometimes uh, I find that if you know the destination putting up one marker there then you, you don't have to worry about it because whichever route you take the sat-nav reroutes itself and you're not not getting turn around when possible <laughs> yeah, that's basically all I'm going to do is just put the end markers in and just go, yeah, that'll do. It's CC'd the rest of the way, so don't need to worry too much. Yeah, because I think you only really need the, the route in marked if you've got to, like, F7 yourself, but otherwise you don't need it then. Yeah, that's when it's just a pain in the ass, and if I've got to do that, I'll just fast travel to the end of the route. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to bother trying to get back into the convoy not knowing it's proper routing if it's not following the route maps that they've put in the Discord. Yeah, good luck on trying to find the convoy. You'll be going all over the house and probably to find it. Uh, the easiest way of doing it is just opening up Trucker's MP map and searching for people. Yeah, there is that. Let's put it this way, if I had to F7 now, all I'd do is search for shift. Very true. I'd at least know where the back end of the convoy is, even if I can't find the front. Yep, there is that one. <laughs> You seen the? Uh, you read the game chat. Not recently, because I've got my cat down beside me, wanting his nibbles for his lunch. Uh, I'm having to fuss him to stop him from nabbing at me. <laughs> fair enough. Somebody had mentioned that they'd once been launched into space, Harvey turned around and went same, and then shortly after put in the message saying, and then they weren't playing for about three weeks. Yeah, if there's one thing you <laughs> never want to do, it's send the game moderator flying off into space on this game. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's that song in it flying to outer space to find another race comes to mind. <laughs> not gonna lie, not too sure I actually know that one, but even if I did, can't sing it. Yeah, no, I, um, I'm trying to think. Babylon Zoo, that's it. Babylon Zoo? Not a clue. Yeah. You not heard Babylon Zoo? Nope. They're the ones who sing that song. Babylon Zoo, Babylon who? <laughs> I'll have to um, find it um, and send it to you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm literally doing this event 
and then basically crash in. I've been up since half five this morning because birds get really noisy when they're nesting in the gutters directly above your windows. Yeah, I can imagine that one. I'm not gonna lie, I thought one of them was gonna fly in through an open window of mine earlier. <laughs> that would have been fun. <laughs> oh, that would have been fun. I, I was sitting here getting set up for the event and literally just heard that sudden frantic flapping like, oh shit, I can't land there. The expression, catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon, comes to mind. <laughs> that is a very good program. That was a great cartoon, that was. That, Wacky Races, you name it. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> good old Dick Dastardly and Muttley. Dick Dastardly actually legitimately won one of those wacky races and they still didn't give it to him. Yeah, I think that, I remember that that, that one and I thought, hang on a minute, he he done it properly, he won it fair and square, he could at least give it to him at least once. Always went to Penelope Pit Stop though, didn't it? Or the guy with a really long dragster that was probably making up for something else, but I can't say on stream. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Um, the other one is um, the one I like with the... Mo the, um, the Adams Family um, one that was on there. Adams Family, Coming the Caveman the Brothers. Yeah, the Cave, the cave Brothers, yeah. <laughs> For cars are rock with wheels. <laughs> My friend Flintstone's car look look um look like a, a modern day classic. <laughs> I don't know if Harvey's message in the in-game chat just then was aimed at us or people on channel 19. Oh. Uh -oh. He literally put in the chat, please don't shout over the radio, and I'm like, is that aimed at us or is that aimed at people that are on the general Default channel 19. I will admit, 19 is probably absolutely mayhem right now. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say it's probably screaming like mags. I don't think we've been that loud. If we were being that loud, I'd have had a DM from some of the staff because they know what channel I'm on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking myself. So, we're just coming up to the end of Route 1. Okay, we are going into the port and then going straight across the Euro port. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking that myself. I am really hoping that the uh, fuel stop on the other side is really close to that port. Alright, yeah, shift, say that again. Don't forget to use your mangoes to pay the ferry. What mangoes? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm a mangoes I can't mate. carry mangoes. I can't carry mangoes. I got too hungry along the route shift, I've ate them all. Sorry. to you guys then. Shift, do you know how I'll close pick the up some more on the other side. <laughs> yeah, Shift, do you know how close the fuel stop is to the Europort on the other side by any chance? Top of my head? No. But there should be a big enough time uh, break wise. So Cool, because I was thinking of swapping out my trucks for a slightly smaller truck. Yeah, Shift, I don't know if you can hear us midnight. If you can't, can you 
pass on. I didn't get all of his uh, message, but I've just had Landy pop up in me Twitch chat saying that it's at the garage, which isn't too far. Are you already over that side then, Landy? Did you hear him shift? I'm in non collision. Hey, Landy, how mad is it for everybody trying to scarf to the garage flash fuel point? Because I could also do with taking a bio route. We've got. Oh, we've got 20 minutes before start the next route. Landy, are we allowed out to go to garage? Before I go driving out the yard. Do you know what shift server number is? Because I don't know if he's come across yet or not. Uh, shift, you reading over. Anybody for mangoes? Uh, I'm on CB5 Landy. Which shift was on earlier as well. Seeing shift on the nearby. Landy radio check over. I saw your name pop up, but I can't hear you. Okay. 
My server number's 46 if you want to PM me. I'm not hearing you at all on CB, I'm afraid. Is that shift that's just come across? Shift, is that you that's just come across on the ferry? Oh, it's like... Okay, uh, 32. Just send a uh, creeper a quick message. And we are indeed cool. So I'm gonna go and fuel up and then come back to You guys are probably thinking, oh, no. <laughs> oh, has he got three different profiles? One for Route 1, one for Route 2, and then maybe one for Route 3 as well, I take it. Fuel, just make sure we're all topped up, ready for route two. Oh yeah, of course you are, aren't you? You're not staying for route three. Can I point out also it's really weird being able to do more than 110 on this server. train Ah, uh, it was you, Hunter. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll spin round and catch up. No, no, I'm literally refueling and repairing and then going back to the port first, ready for the start. Yeah, I know, but I'll, uh, I'll hang with you for, uh, until you do that. I didn't realise it was you at first. Saw the colours and didn't, didn't put two and two together. Holy shit! Sorry. Um, we've just had somebody donate five hundred pound. Wow. 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 
Trisport oh, Grandad, thank you very, yes, very much. See the amount of hordes I've got on my roof. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Tisport Grandad, for that £500 dono. I've just passed that on to one of the guys Hunter. in the stream. Uh, let me finish fueling and I'll have a little look. Yeah, I've only, as I said, I've only got the two. Yeah, that's not too bad. As I said, I've only got the two. That's just put us at 553%. Nice, nice. What's the main target? 100. They just donated five, <laughs> they just donated five times the target. <laughs> wow. Lovely, lovely. And their message was hey. a worthwhile charity very close to my heart. I spend all my spare time if I'm well enough out at sea on our boat MV Le Capa. From me personally there and our go. BTC Bivar Trucking. Thank you. That's B A B V A R Trucking. Yeah, there you go. He's a lifeboater himself, that's why. Yeah. Man, that was a hey! dono. Tolly, I'm Lovely glad I looked up, looked up and saw your capitalization then. Wow. Right, let's head back to the madness that is the poor. Yeah, no eyes, Hunter. And then I need to take a bio break. My legs are dancing down here. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing as well, Hunter. Even hear the alert go off. I'm wondering if I had heard the alert go off and thought it was something sank over the CB or in game. And we've got 20 minutes. 20 minutes to start the next route. Uh huh. I'm slowing down in a minute. That's I'm not going around that corner at yeah. more than about 60. Yeah, I ain't gonna hit you, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> 41. It's the one that won. Number three camp. truck turned off guys I'm gonna be right back in a moment uh, that guy's donations literally just been seen by the guys in um, chat uh, 
Neddy Plays. Thank you very much for that £50 donation. That puts us at £603. And it was perfect timing just before I was about to leave. I literally turned and saw it. Because I was just, I literally just turned to double check the amount before I posted it in chat. Because um, some of the guys that are doing the CC and that know that I'm streaming. Um, so, Neddy Plays, thank you very much for your £50 donation. That, put, as I said, will put us up to £603. The progress bar will update momentarily. Um, I am going to nip off for a couple of minutes to take a quick bio break and give my legs a quick stretch before we depart on route two. So I will see you guys shortly. How do you think we're gonna leave um, this this madness, um, Hunter? Yeah, that was me, dude. So I was, I was just, I was saying to, saying to you and Landy, it's going to be interesting getting out of this mayhem. Landy, you are. Ridiculously quiet on C, but I could not hear that at all. Technically, the lead is 18 wheeler, but last I checked, he was not here. Or at least he wasn't for Route 1. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, shift. We're at 600% of the target, by the way. 603 pounds raised just in one route. Very nice. 500 pound of that was from one person that's part yeah, of the Considering someone trucking. just dropped 500 quid into your um, um, pot from a lifeboat to himself, by the sounds of it. So yeah, this is going to be absolute mayhem getting out of here. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to have a quick smoke. We've not got long before we're due to leave. I must admit though, Hunter, that your, those colours go quite nicely together. Well, if you're ever out on the water and you see those colours, get the hell out of the way unless they're coming for you. Oh, 
Oh, Neddy plays as a fellow streamer. Um, somebody had donated to their stream and Shift. When we leave this it pause, is it going to be a free fall or are we leaving in the same orders again? No idea. I'd expect a free fall. If it's a free for all, it's a definite popcorn moment. Oh joy. I'm not gonna lie, part of me wants to get out before all the carnage starts. free-for-all grab your popcorn but at the same time I kind of want to get out before the carnage yeah me too I'm with you on that one this is a free-for-all it's not gonna be best split it's not gonna end up pretty no Rorus Tolly yeah I'm looking forward to that donation goal getting destroyed even more than it already has uh, shift, can I ask where in Gdansk we're finishing so that I can just set a marker point there? GPS that comes on the profile says WGCC area, but expect to be spread out for multiple yards. Okay, so it's basically going to be a whole city job, is it? Alright, just on... No or a shift, I'm guessing it's probably going to be an all city job, in which case I'll set my route marker to the garage that's there so that I know where my refill point is. Sounds good. Send me the maps I did so I've got to keep the window open when the convoy starts and I can't find it now. Keep the work and goes away. I'm glad I've got T unassigned as my trailer detach button. Somebody's just turned. Somebody's just turned up with a triple trailer haystack.
Oh fuck, it's a left turn out of here as well. Excuse my language. This is gonna be carnage. Oh, this is well and truly gonna be carnage. I've just gone into dev cam. This is well and truly gonna be carnage for people getting out of here. And we've got to let Dan turn straight out. So we should be getting going shortly. Um, I think we've had a slight delay. Oh no, half two. So we've got 20 minutes. Hunter, do you know whereabouts at the end we'll meet with half an apple shift? Do you know where we're meeting up by the very end? If that was aimed at me, I didn't catch that. Like I told Hunter, the waypoint on the on the CC profile is near WGCC, but chances are it's going to be in multiple yards. Where I meant on Route Three, where we, where's the actual end up, finish point on Route Three? That's what I meant. I should have said sorry. At Route Three, no idea. Shit, won't have a clue until he loads up the profile for it. Ah, fair enough. No, it's because I've set my marker for, um, to the end of Dan's, like you have, Hunter, by the fuel garage, and then on to the other. And then I put another marker at the very end of what Route 3 is, but I didn't know whereabouts in Route 3 would mark to mark it properly, but hey ho. I'm just marking them route by route. Considering we're right at the front, hun um, Hunter, I think we might, uh, when we get told to go, put our foots down and get out of here. <laughs> I plan to. Considering we've got to do a sharp left turn. <laughs> For those that have joined us, I'm going to play a short video. Which is all to do with the RNLI, it's 10 facts of the RNLI. Thank you. 
switching this, why couldn't we have gone straight on? It would have made life a lot easier. Six and one and a half a dozen of the other from this point. Yeah, but we're getting out of this actual car park it would have made more sense to go on straight than out than try and turn left and then right and straight out, if you know what I mean, but hey, no, I'm not making judges. I feel sorry for the people that are on your left that have to do a U-turn to the left. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that myself. So yeah, no, we've been doing really, really well. The fact that we've only done the truck fest and route one so far, uh, we've still got two routes to go. We're just waiting for the startup of route two. Um, Randy, thank you very much for the follow on Twitter. That literally came up just as I was about to put my phone down. train we've got about 15 minutes that's one five minutes cheers dude
How are you getting on, Jones? Especially edited trailer because my triple container's not the hasn't got the third large trailer, it's got a small trailer. Fair enough. Fair enough. server numbers this time around. Yes, yeah, shift. These ETS2 MCG guys that have just come into the port are ones to keep an eye out for because they've been overtaking left, right and centre during the first route. Take one. So yeah, we are just waiting for the start of Route 2, which will be kicking off in about 10 minutes. So there is a leaving order, that's handy. Yeah, it's just a little bit downside. Me and you are sitting at the front here and it might not be us getting out first, which means we might still be in the carnage. Expect VTCs to be called out first. Yeah, Thanks I expected that, that shift. Considering you and I were at the very front for public, we, if we get our foot down, we should be able to get out pretty easily. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> In before ID 8 gets booted from the server. Oh. Just mean for your um, stream, mate. You'll have a lot of vehicles going through you. <laughs> oh, I'm aware when leaving order gets an out, I'm going into outside cam so that it doesn't ghost, so to speak. Wise choice. Wise choice. I 
I'm also getting this event a little bit of traction on Twitter at the moment as well. I've tagged SCS, Truckers MP and the RN Align tweets that I've been sending out. Nice. Camera's going off for a little bit. I'm gonna have one more smoke before we start this route off. I do apologize to you guys that some of this is sitting around. Um, it's literally just the sitting around between routes. Um, normally I wouldn't be sitting around this much if I could help it. This has got to be the slowest I've ever seen anybody come into this port. <laughs> Perhaps it's the one that gets flipping on the first um, route, start of first route. Times like this, I'm glad to have my 2060 Super in my PC. Yeah, I'm a 1660, so yeah. I've got six different windows open over four screens, plus all the trucks, and I'm on ultra settings in ETS2. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, I'm on ultra myself. Um, only on one screen, mind you, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to make the um, the immortal jump in the end because my uh, 710 wasn't doing it for me towards the end. Oh dear. Yeah, so I ended up spending three and a half hundred quid on a 1660 with that six gig of RAM on it. Uh, better than nothing, man. Better than nothing. Oh, don't, don't. You don't need to tell me, mate. I'm, I'm in loving the, the smooth driving and no lag and nice crisp graphics. <laughs> mate, you want smooth? I play Fortnite, although not on stream, and I can put that at unlimited frames, and it is so beautiful. Yeah, well this this card will do me for now until I can actually save up for a 3080 or a 3090. Wait, I'm going to wait to get, even think about upgrading to one of them because uh, AMD is going after Nvidia with their next lot of graphics cards. Yeah, that that's that's what I said I'm going to save my money to get aim to get one, but if um AMD bring out one that surpasses it, I'll be getting that. AMD 6000 series, they're both going to be better than the 30 series and just as cheap. I'll be getting one of them then. For me, it all depends how many ports it and monitors they can take. Yeah, that's very true. Unless the graphic, unless their graphics cards can take four monitors, I ain't touching them. I am not going back down from four monitors. No, well, I don't blame you. Once you've had four, you, it's it's tough to go back to two or three. Yeah. Going down to three is not an issue because. The fourth monitor's at the top above the fr main three, so losing that one isn't too big of an issue. It just means I can't have as many windows open. Yeah, I can see that. It's quite nice sometimes being able to watch four Twitch streams at once. <laughs> Oh, 
it's even funnier when all four Twitch streams are sh all streaming the same game as well, so you're seeing it from four different perspectives. That is quite cool. I must admit, that would be quite cool to see. Yeah, because my card is the MSI 1660 ga um, Gaming X. Yeah, mine's an MSI, and it's the RTX 2060 Super. Considering my entire tower only cost me 1500 quid, I cannot complain at all. No, no you can't. I think mine's actually a super, I'm not 100% sure actually. Uh, 1660s didn't have a super version. It was uh, 1660 oh, TIs. <laughs> oh, okay, no, so mine, mine's just a gaming X then. It's the one with all the RGB on it, so yeah. Yeah. I would admit that's the only thing that's missing off my graphics card is the RGB. And my RAM's not RGB, but I'll change that out eventually. Well, two of my four um, is RGB, the other two aren't. Um, and it was just it just happened to be that that graphics card that I got was the RGB version one, which was like, sweet, I'll have that. <laughs> oh yeah, don't get me wrong, if I could turn my tower into an absolute rainbow producer, I would do. What, you mean like my one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving order is going to be announced shortly. Fair enough. I must have probably one of the coolest running PCs ever going. Well, I can't complain with the temperatures of mine. Uh, just the fact it's got three radiators that the, the fluid goes through before it even gets to the CPU cooler. <laughs> Lucky you. Cheers for the message shift. <laughs> Just PM me saying get your mangoes ready. Okay, Prime Logistics going first. Interesting to see old Prime going first. Nice. Yeah. Uh, press have just gone and it, just as a heads up, we've got the ETS2 guys that are ghosting through us right now. Well, that was a bit laggy leaving, wasn't it? Yeah, he is lagging a little bit. Sees next up. Fair enough. Where's that white one going? I was just thinking that he isn't. <laughs> bye bye. He weren't part of any of them. No, exactly. No, exactly. Boosh! Hey, you want a triple trailer hey, you want train? Have a look at that one that's just left. Well, the one with the train on it. Yeah, I just saw. Literally completely empty, except for the train right at the back. Yeah, that's why I went boosh. Yeah, I can see why Snail won the uh, paint job one. Yeah, I must admit, their trucks do look rather smart. Oh, yes. Uh, 
Where the hell is that guy going that's just gone out in front of us? He was with uh, Snail. Oh dear, the CEOs that company got stuck with. Oh, we just hit the modulators! That is not very good for that. that is not very good. VTC. <laughs> oh, it's even worse for him because I saw that on stream as well. <laughs> All right, Shelby's leaving now, and I think it's not going to be too long before me and you are putting our foot down. Uh -huh. well, I'll let you get going first, and then I'll. Coming behind you. Oh, they've put an ETS2 MCG in front of us. Ah, good. They've just literally been told to depart. That's that's because we met, we mentioned them to, to shift. Oh yeah. on the foot brake as soon as I see public I am accelerating there's a bit of a dunk because yep. I'm on my way out right, let's move my mouse Up. Yeah, no, I was just waiting for that B and C guy to come out. Fair enough. I saw him go through you, and I had a BTC guy directly in front of us. So I thought oh, I'll let him catch up with his own guy. Fair enough. I cut that a little bit closer to those little red and white barriers than I was expecting to on that corner. Yeah, I saw! I was thinking <laughs> he's going to hit that. I didn't touch him, but I was only about a Rizzler paper away. I was going to say, there wasn't much of a gap between that and your trailer. Well, I know it's a Sunday, but it's Floor at Friday until we catch up. Which, speaking of which, I'm just about to slow down. Yeah, yeah. Left hand lane train, we're taking the first junction. Who are we? Ooh. Wrong pedal, wrong pedal. I accidentally put my foot on the accelerator instead of the brake and almost went into this B and C guy in front of me. Yeah, right foot for accelerate, left foot for braking. I do right foot for both. Yeah, well, I've got my my pedal set because um, I I find that the actual brake pedal is quite hard to press for the brake, so I use the clutch as my brake pedal. So it's right foot for accelerate, left foot for brake. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm left foot for both. I keep my clutch pedal for the clutch as and when I need to use it. Which admittedly in convoys I don't use. We are indeed taking next junction, left hand junction.
Lightning, Lightning McQueen's just gone down the left hand side. Yeah, I saw that. Wow, can they have positioned Skyhorse's trailer in a worst place? Quite possible. BNC guys are keeping their distance from the guys in front because uh, it looks like they might be in the wrong lane. Yeah, why doesn't that not surprise me? One of the reasons I'm straddling both lanes because I'm trying to see what's going on ahead. Fair enough. Joy's a left hand drive, man. Joy's a left hand drive. Oh, yeah. I know, that's why I like being left hand drive. The downside's when you're in the UK and you want to try and overtake the AI and you can't see down the goddamn road. <laughs> yeah, there's that. ETS2 guys really don't know how to drive because they are literally going at a snail's pace in front of us. Although, saying that, looking at the GPS image truck, it looks like there's a load of blue dots sat in front of them as well. Yeah. I see what you're saying. set up then. Sorry train. I said what do you think of my Volvo set up then? Mate, we get onto an open stretch of road and you can open it up, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Half East just put an announcement out. Overtaking is prohibited on this server. Please do not overtake. I wonder who that was aimed at. Uh, probably number 13 who just replied sorry in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, but there's nothing about undertaking, though, was there? No, but you know full well they'll do it if they can. <laughs> Neddy, thank you very much there's for the follow, man. And thank you for your 50 pound you donation as well. I know you forwarded that on from somebody in your stream. So do give their give our thanks to them as well. I am a fundraiser in real life for them. So literally seeing these donations coming through has been really, really nice. Like TSI Sports dono of 500 quid. I hadn't even seen the alert for that one go off. Ah, uh, no worries, Ned.
one of the ETS2 guys just got kicked. <laughs> well, whip for that one. Apologies for that one. Uh, you alright, dude? Are we meant to be in the left lane? Uh, in all honesty, uh, we are going to be turning left up ahead just by the A10 sign on the sat nav. Fair enough, I'll get over them. We're turning left towards Gronigan. I also happen to be really bad in trying to uh, Send a message on Twitch as well as Drive. <laughs> now you see, my sat nav had me going straight on. I believe so did mine. Which is why I've set mine just at the end point. Yeah, I've set mine for the garage so I can get fuel from when we get there. That's exactly where I set mine for. Is yours by any chance telling you to turn right up here? Yeah, it wants me to do a U turn to the right. Yeah, same as mine. Comes landing. Mangoes. Mango. <laughs> yeah, it's shift. Yeah, train. That wasn't landing just then. That was shift. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's just on the purple dot. <laughs> Shift are still going to be tail of the convoy, you see. I didn't realise it was actually swapping out. Yeah, they do swap around. Yeah, I didn't know that, so that's why I thought it was landing. Oh well, never mind. It's shift. <laughs> Slowing down ahead. 
and full. On my game, I've got a lovely thunderstorm to drive through. See, I've got all weather effects turned off, so I'm beautiful and sunny on my screen. Yeah, but I find it that gets a little bit boring after a while. I like to have a bit of variant of change of weather. Makes driving a bit more of a challenge. I do when I'm not as part of a convoy. That BNC guy, I think, also hit the barrier. Ah. Well, somebody's just been told off for a pound free roaming. Yeah, I wonder where that was. Excuse me. The worst part when I'm streaming is getting peckish. Can I point out we're doing a coastal RNLI convoy and there's a rather nice sailing ship right next to us on the right hand side. Yeah, I know. Kind of quaint, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a nice little touch. That was a little bit tight for comfort for me. What, my rear end was that? Yeah. Learn to use your brakes then. I did, I've just broke too late. Donut. Didn't touch you though, it was just like, oh that's tight. <laughs> Mate, you could have touched my trailer, I probably wouldn't have even noticed. Yeah, but I didn't touch you. I stopped probably with our papers gap between me and you, but I stopped. You sure about that? I'm showing 2% damage on my trailer. Zero on my cab. Yeah, my trailer's on 29%, so I don't know where that's come from. <coughs> so, we are on Route 2, we are on Route 2. Uh, I'm going to remember where we're on Route 2. Um, it's not a gun. Uh, I know it starts with a G. Um, yeah, we're on route to net at the moment. Uh, we've got one more route after this. There will possibly, there is likely to be some sitting around at, in between the routes, um, but that's normal for these kind of multi-route convoys, um, which. Yeah, gives people a chance to stretch the legs so they're not sitting down the entire time. Um, use the restroom, grab drinks, which thankfully for me all I have to do is just lean down. As you can see by the dino bar up in the top right, 
Uh, that's the donation bar towards the charity. None of that is going to me at all. Um, we have smashed the target of £100 six times over. Um, 500 of that donation was from one person. I just realised I haven't eaten at all today. I'm going to have to get a bottle of porridge at the end of uh, this this route. I've got snacks sitting on the table in front of us and I've got Jaffa Cakes to hand as well, which is quite nice. Oh, I haven't had a Jaffa Cake for a little while now. And the beautiful thing of where I work is getting discounted when they're on sale, picking up entire cases of them. Yeah, I like the lime ones. Ugh, no thanks, original or nothing. Oh no, no, I, oh, don't get me wrong, I, love, I do love the originals. But also I like the lemon and lime ones as well, the, the ones you get at Halloween. Yeah, can't stand them. I prefer to stick to the lovely traditional orange flavoured jam ones. Who's up for a roller coaster? Don't get me wrong, I'm up for yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do, I, I do like them, but I also like the other ones as well. I think it's to do that, that tangy flavour that you get out of the lemon and lime is what I like. Oh, possibly. It could be the tanginess of them, but I'm just not keen on them personally. Uh, if we all like the same thing, the world will be a boring place. Uh, depends what that thing is that everybody likes. True. I could think of a couple of things, but I can't mention them as I'm streaming. <laughs> now, now. Train. Are those bikes literally just jumping around on that bridge for you as well? I didn't see any bikes to be fair, so I did. No, uh, literally as I was coming up to that bridge there was what looked to be like sprites of people riding bikes and they were just going backwards and forwards in a very tiny space quite quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I missed that, sorry. Earth is somebody asking for miles left already. We've not long just left the start. Are we there yet? I'm not gonna lie, they're the kind of people I hate on these sorts of convoys. How the long we got left? It's like when you was kids in the, in the car, wasn't it? Man, Dad, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Shut up! <laughs> Hello there! Hello! How are you doing? 
Not too bad, not too bad. You like me lifeboat on wheels? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Had to make an effort. Yeah, you did. Good job. Cheers. I was wondering what the hell's going on then. Uh, Neddy's one of the CCs, he's also jumped into the Twitch chat. Yeah, it's just um, sitting in minding my own business and all of a sudden this other voice goes out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a sudden voice that hadn't turned around and gone, Mangles! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, Neddy passed on a $50 £50 donation from somebody on his stream. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So, we're still only sitting at £603, but here's was the most recent donation to the pot. Yeah, yeah. Well, £603 is better than nothing, dude. Mate, well, we're pleasurable. Mate, that's insane seeing as they only hit the set the target at a hundred. Yeah. But more than more the merrier, but that's still a bloody good sum of money. The thing is though, if I'm correct off the top of my head, I think this is the very first one for coastal convoys in aid of R and as well. If it is, it's an absolute brilliant start. I think you could be right, I can't, I don't remember another one being on it. I've not heard of any others in either the RNLI being run, but I could be mistaken. Mm, I certainly haven't, don't remember any, so... No, because my thinking is, if it wasn't the first one, it would have been very unlikely for him to have done recruitment for CC media and whatnot. Yeah, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. If it was the second onwards, unless people had left because they weren't able to do it, there wouldn't really be the need to do recruitment. Yeah, because they would have already had all the staff in place for it, wouldn't they? Pretty much. I did apply to join media team, but they weren't looking for streamers. They were looking more for picture takers and editors rather than streamers. Yeah, yeah. But me and Lightning's had a decent conversation through DMs over it all, so I got given the go-ahead to use the progress bar and whatnot. Nice. I know B and C want to give the uh, ETS2 guys a bit of a wide berth, but leaving that much of a gap? Hey, maybe, maybe the wisest thing they do for us. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, that probably is a wise idea, because... Uh, I think there are a couple of those ETS2 guys that do lag. Yeah, so... I'm quite happy with the gap. As long as it's not like a 40 mile gap, then I don't mind. Yeah, exactly. As long as... If I can still see them, fine. If I can't see them, but I can still see... I can, well, I say can't see them. If they're popping in and out of my view, because there's a decent enough gap, then not an issue. If I can't suddenly see the truck that's directly in front of me, I'm putting my goddamn foot down. Yeah, exactly. 
Oh, one of the ETS2 guys has just apologised over chat, so something's obviously happened up ahead. Uh, why does that not surprise me? Oh, the joys of being in public. Which, by the way, I am still not used to being in the public section of a convoy. <laughs> I was wondering why you uh, weren't in Viva, but then again, you, you're doing it for the charity, so that, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm doing it for the actual charity itself. Um, Viva doesn't actually have a slot booked for this one. They've got the TFM uh, convoy later. Uh. TFM convoy will always get prioritised over any other convoys on that day. Fair enough. Are you going to be doing that one or not? If I am doing it, I am not streaming it because I have been awake since half five this morning. Fair enough. Break of dawn and birds chirping away is not that nice of a wake up call at half five in the morning. Oh, were they singing the song out of Mary Poppins then? I ain't got a clue what on earth they were singing, but I'd much rather not hear it at half five in the morning. <laughs> I don't speak feathered birdie. The closest again tweet I go is posting on Twitter. <laughs> so I wasn't singing the song Spoonful of Sugar then? I ain't got a clue. If they were, <laughs> I'd be drowning it out with supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> Try saying that one five times fast. Spill it. It's already getting dark in game again already. Yeah, well, it is like 21.30 in game. Yeah, I know, but you know that's also going to get to a point with these new 1.40 graphics where you're barely going to see anything in front of you. Oh, yeah, then the main meme comes on. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm going to feel really sorry for this BNC guy in front of me when I turn on my high beams. Yeah, I've got a few myself. Well, I'm reading 870. I've got four in the bull bar, yet. which is minimum, because um, I've didn't make this truck in single player and I've got four, four or five on the roof plus another three on the roof. <laughs> oh, one of the ETS2 guys is dropping out. That's handy. Ah, uh, one less. Keep going. We'll soon be up with the rest of the trucks and we'll be flying along. I put on the wrong indicator. That we're going to be taking the left hand lane up to towards Bremen. Yeah, you got the Gorgon's disease by any chance? No. Are you sure? The red line on my GPS went off to the right before going left. Ah. Well, that'd have been interesting going down the wrong side of the boat. <laughs> That would have been interesting to try and go through CC if you don't mind. Well, yeah, there is that as well. I get on well with too many of the CC in this event to drive into any of them. I might give them the occasional scare, but I will not drive into them. <laughs>
land down coming off of that slip road, by the way. And out of all the convoys, I don't think I've ha actually ever hit a CC driver at all. Oh, I've scared a couple, but I've never hit any. The best one is Creeper Jacks was one of the ones that I scared the living daylights out of. Nice. still see everything I'm doing, it's just I should be wearing my glasses when I'm at the PC. <laughs> uh, are you like me, uh, meant to wear them for reading, watching TV and driving sort of thing? 10-4. Yeah, I'm a, I, I've got to say, um, I've got to confess I'm the same as you. I very rarely use them for computer gaming. Well, I could technically switch them over to a pair of like in-ear ones so that I could still wear my glasses but that would then require me changing about six different settings on the PC and I really cannot be asked. Yeah, that sounds like uh, more hard, more work than it's worth at the moment. Oh yes, especially while we're trying to drive. Yeah, not, not good. certainly explains why basically nothing was coming up on my phone. Yeah, that's not good. They've literally done a mid-event team change. Okay. Somebody just got promoted to supervisor. Oh, fair enough. How much have you had to drink? Uh, downside of being naughty and looking at my phone while driving. And there you go, folks. Texting and driving is not good for you. No, definitely not. <laughs> I also don't drink alcohol often enough to end up swerving across the road like that in the first place. <laughs> you sure? Oh yes, I'm sure. just very sensitive steering. I don't have to turn the wheel too much to actually steer. Yeah, my steering wheel's got quite sensitive little set up. I've just got to um, find out the correct setting for Farm Simulator. Google is your best friend. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I've also got my game controller as well, so right, my Xbox style controller for the PC, so I use that as well. Yeah, no, I've got my button box that I can use for certain bits, but I want to get a proper farm sim external peripheral. I see mangoes in chat. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called you out in the in-game chat. Well, at least I can say, Shift, I've got plenty of mango juice on my, in my tanker. Mango juice, mate, but I can't stop to give you any. Sorry. I wouldn't be so sure about the not stopping part. Yeah, but I'm too far down the road to give shift any mango juice now. Uh, you seen the length of those tubes on them tankers? Yeah, I know they're long, but they're not that long. Oh, you'll be surprised how long those things can stretch. tempted about to asking the guy in front of us if he's got a set speed on his cruise control and I'm like wait a minute we're part of public there isn't going to be a set goddamn speed uh, no there ain't hello there's another purple dot who's this can't be shift already surely Landy. That one will be good on Landy Boy. Well, this time I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sh the fact that there's going to be a fair few trucks behind me and you would have meant that would have had to have been Landy, because Shift would not have been able to, have, would not have been allowed to have switched positions that quick. Yeah, so I was thinking, hang on a minute, we haven't even just passed him, we can't be, the tail can't be that quick. <laughs> Mate, it owned the, the fact that the rest of the convoy was going past Landy as we were going past shift means there was no way he would have switched that quickly to two different positions. Saves take a little bit longer than yeah. that to load up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you have a lightning fast PC. Oh yes, it all depends on what mods you're using, if any of course. For you it'd probably take about 20 minutes to load, load up on certain PCs, if you're lucky. I have 60 meg down, near, near enough 20 up, so yeah. Yeah, loading games and saves. Up and download speeds don't make a difference, it's all about CPU and GPU. Uh, on that score then, yeah, I've got a, uh, what was it, a Ryzen 7 I think I've got. So yeah, we are... I can't remember what the processor I've got now. And, and I've got 24 gig of RAM, and I've got an, a 1660 Gaming X graphics card. I can't remember, for the life of me, remember what CPU I've got. Fair enough. Uh, just letting you know that I've just passed the 690 kilometers left mark. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. 
Hello. Hello. How's CC going there, Neddy? Just been out of range of him. No, he did reply. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was just out of range because I didn't hear the reply. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, he said not too bad. That's handy. That's the thing. CC, and as long as everything's going to plans, not too bad. We are taking this next exit. Uh-huh, ten fork. recognise a reader whose name from somewhere and I don't know where. That would be from Vivo. Ah, uh, I thought so. I was going to say that. <laughs> How you doing, reader? Uh, doing as good as I can, honestly. I'm tired as hell. I know that feeling, man. I know that American feeling. Oh boy. Do you remember Red Dragon redo? Oh yeah, it's been quite a while. How'd you do, buddy? How'd you do? Yeah, Rido, I feel sorry for you and Shift being over in the States doing these events at ridiculous o'clock up our time in the UK. I think you might have just been out of range on that one. Fair. I was going to say he was Viva. I swear I remember his name. So yeah. I used to call him Redux. Yeah. I thought it was with him being in Viva, but I couldn't quite picture it. But then I've not been doing that many convoys lately. Yeah, that's fair. Let's put it this way, just this week alone I've done three convoys in almost as many days. Yeah, uh, I haven't done too many myself, which is probably why I don't have many um, drivers for, under my VTC. Uh. Well, I did ICGs few days ago, then I did Drive with the Kings yesterday that you saw us at, and now this one. Yeah, you didn't talk to me yesterday. Mate, I didn't even notice yesterday. I was saying hello to you and you totally blanked me as like, oh. <laughs> Mate, I had so much going on yesterday with stream and everything else, it was unreal. Yeah, no, that's dude was like, oh, you don't want to talk to me. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> that, and I was seriously trying not to fall asleep during Drive with the Kings. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, even Landy didn't come down to say hello to me. He, he was in flipping the, on the corners. Like, oh. <laughs> I did notice your uh, triple trailer though at Driver of the Kings. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Guys, do let us know if the audio's too loud in the background. 
because I'm looking at me audio mixer bars and it looks like it might be a little bit too high but let us know because it's a different volume in my ears to, to what it will be on stream. Yeah, now we got into the nice dark evening, now I can read your tag nicely. Yep. I'm really glad though that this BNC guy in front of me has got a very reflective rear end to his trailer. <laughs> you know the distance. The trick with the distance is if the name just starts to fade when you're doing higher speeds, you're just about a hundred meters away from them. Fair enough, I'll keep that one in mind. That's courtesy of Jones from Viva, he worked that one out. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, the names disappear at around about a hundred meters distance. Oh, okay. Didn't know that one. So, if you can't see the name, you're at a safe distance. If you can read the number plate, you are far too freaking close. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I can only just see the BNC guy's name up ahead. Yeah, I see what you mean with like, how the name fades out. Yeah, it's handy, though, because it is really useful for tracking distance between trucks. Oh, hell yeah. Because you think about it, if you can read two or three names, you know for a fact that you are way too close to a high speed. Oh yeah, most definitely. And that, that's what caught me out a couple of times, because I, I couldn't judge the distance. Oh, my knee feels like it's going to cramp up on me and I hate it. Ouch, that's painful. Yeah, it needs painful a little bit. I might need to take some of the paracetamol that are on my desk. Fair enough. The only plus side is the fact that we are getting breaks between routes to be able to get up and stretch. Yeah, I think in this next break it'll be a bowl of porridge and a coffee. <laughs> oh, I've got my normal drinks. So, because I don't drink coffee. And then I've got my snacks if I, if I want them. But I do try not to eat on stream. Yeah, well, I'm out of my squash and I haven't had anything to eat to, at the, so far today. And I've not had my coffee this, today either. So I, I'm overdue a coffee break. <laughs> and plus, I'm not as organised as you are. Mate, my life is all about being organised. That's courtesy of my job. Now, is this shift or landing? Uh, it doesn't. I don't appear to see an extra green dot on mine. It's neither. It's mangoes. It is indeed mangoes. Plenty of juice, mate. But I can't stop. Sorry. Yeah, shit. Remind me later to add you on Steam. quite funny if you if you had like these food tankers and you had to do a load of mango juice that would be hilariously funny <laughs> mate I could just watch the job tracker it just going mango juice mango juice mango juice all the way down yeah that'd be quite funny In Schiff's case, he won't make the delivery, he'll be parked up in LA by drinking it. <laughs> land ahead, land ahead. I so love my horns on this truck. Oh, I love mine too. 
They got such a rich tone to them. I, I do like yeah, pitch, mocking my horns up. Wow, did we slow down and a half on this junction. I was thinking that myself. I was thinking that somebody had a fender bender. <laughs> Possibly. It does look like it might be quite a sharp right hand turn at the end here, though. Yeah, I was thinking that myself. So I was wondering if someone got themselves hooked up like last time. People did get uh, caught up on those bits of pipework sticking up. Yes. Down again. Ten four. Did you also have to high beam it as you were playing catch up then? Might have done. <laughs> Literally, the truck in front of me disappeared. I'm like, shit, I now can't actually see the road in front of me. <laughs> Wherever I can, I will get my high beam up. I try not to use them unless I absolutely have to, to be honest. They don't provide that much more I'd light than normal lights now. Normal lights now. Uh, I tend to use them on the bends. If it's at night and I'm on my own, I use them mainly on the bends, where I on the sharp bends where I just need to see the barriers. <laughs> yeah, very true. Yeah. That was not a nice place to do that, to come to such a slow speed. Yeah, that wasn't the nicest of places to come to such a slow speed. No, my old Volvo's just had to make her engine work to get her going again. Mate, you should have seen Fever at Driver of the Kings yesterday. If we weren't careful, we were rolling backwards. <laughs> Because of where we were, we were literally right on that bit of steep hill at the beginning. Yeah. And it was a literal case of, put it in gear, put your foot on accelerator, then release handbrake. <laughs> Racing start then, yeah? Pretty much, I'm slowing down. Oh. Then for slowing down, we're bloody stopping. Yeah, I almost went into the back of the BNC guy. <laughs> and that was with me having full brakes on. Oh, I've got posted into official media. Should break sooner then?
I've just noticed something as well. My lights are um, cooler than yours as well. Ah, uh, what? Yours are very white, white. Mine's more like a warm white. Ah, uh, fair enough. Well, I've not shown up in any of the media yet from the media team. Still a chance, there's still a chance. <laughs> Unless you've got your main beams on. Literally the only lights that on on my high beams. No, you have your high beam on, do you? No, they're the only ones that I don't have on. Ah, fair enough. What truck unit are you using? Good old Scania RS. Yeah. That might be why you got different lights to me, because I've got the old Volvo. Yeah, the Volvo lights are different, regardless what model. They're not that bad for seeing with, um, it's just that I was, I was looking at mine and then looked at yours and thinking, oh, yours are cool, um, a, a more white and light than mine. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I prefer the Scania over any of the other trucks, it's just the fact that I can see that little bit more with these like, headlights. My DAF doesn't have um, too bad of headlights, to be honest. My new one, anyway. Yeah, the newer ones tend to be uh, coded to act like the LED headlights that vehicles tend to have these days. Yeah, true. They are just naturally brighter than the normal bulbs. Also, don't have to be changed as often. No, and I have noticed with the new DAF, um, they do actually have the rear steer axle um, 6x4 um, steering setup. Oh, I really need to have a look at that at the end of this convoy then. I might actually have a look at that on the next break between routes. Because they've got, all, all in all, there's 10, for the real truck, there's actually 10 chassis. Um, four of which are the tandem trailer setup, like your Ridges seven and a half with their trailer, and the others are different setups for the tractor unit. Is that within t is that within TMP or is that in single player? Uh, that's in real, real life, but as there is no chassis options and no customizations yet, I, I wonder what. Um, chassis options they're going to put in the game. Yeah, I'm going to have a little look at that truck through the uh, truck purchase menu and see what I can do with it. Uh, zero, because you've only got your 4x2 uh, at the moment. That's what I'm saying. You've got a 4x2 chassis, a 530 with a I think the lowest gearbox is a 12 speed and very little customization. How my looks is what you can do with it at the moment. You've been keeping an eye on the uh, in game chat? Uh, not, not lately, no. Why? What's going on? Honk if you like Pringles, Flash if you like Doritos. <laughs> What was that all about? Not a clue. Absolutely not a clue. The 
joys of having a button box, I can do both things at once. Yeah, I've got them set as two buttons on mine. B and X. <laughs> The thing is, with them putting that kind of thing into the chat, it, it actually means people are paying attention to the chat if people do it. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I tend to pay more attention to the truck in front of me than what's on the screen. <laughs> Very true. 360k left, 360k left. Yeah, because uh, although I've got the two markers set, mine says 1,223 left. <laughs> That's because you've got the two markers set. Mine's literally set to the yeah. garage at Gdansk. I know, but I'm just saying, for all of um, these two drives, it was, over, it was like, I've still got 2, 1,218 left. <laughs> yeah, I'll worry about finish point during the break for the next route. Well, I've got set, because it just shows the towns, I've got it set, like, well, where you highlight the little dot on the map, it set it for the, the um, container port, so I hope that's where we're going. Uh, it depends. Um, it could be a full town finish, it could be like a container port finish, because the container port's got a fair bit of room in it. Well, yeah, you know when you see on the map the little dots with the with the city name on them. When I click that and zoom right into it, it was at the container port. So. So I'm kind of wondering if we're stopping at the container port. Oh, we'll soon find out. Oh, oh great! Yes. Away from ETS2. Uh oh. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Literally, them, this BNC guy, and then. me. It's like. Uh, wait a minute. Uh huh. Anybody got mangoes? Nope. No, you're still carrying your mango juice, but I can't stop to give it to you, Shift. Yeah, Shift, I was saying earlier, remind us when we take the break to add you on Steam. Well done. And here's a friendly reminder, don't ram a CC. One guy did it tonight, he got banned for a week. That wasn't the guy that did it as he was coming out of the uh, port in Rotterdam, was it? No, no, no. no. This was uh, during the route. Oh, you missed the one right at the very start then, mate. Saying these CBs only have a limited range. Yeah, very much so. But at the same time, could you imagine, like, if they had full map range and you were on channel 19, just how mental that would be? Oh, yeah, no, no, I don't mean full full map, but at least 1,500 meter range. That that would be a bit more more enjoyable, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it depends. Uh, I know the CB radios that my local bus service uses has a pretty big range on it because they can radio through to people that are a good 30, 40 miles away, if not further. Yeah, and that's what I mean. We just, I, I get not having it as a full map, but make it a thousand, maybe 1500. 
least then it'll give you more chance to say what you want to say to someone before you're out of range. Yeah, very true, especially when you're on the move. Especially when they're CC and they're, they say something to you, you want to have a quick conversation about it, and he's like, eh, 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 eh. gone now. Bye. That's not going to work at the minute. I need. I want to finish typing this message to me mate that's doing CC. But I need a straight bit of road because I need to let go of the steering wheel. Just go in front of him. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that in the mirror. Oh, he wouldn't have had that. Can I literally I saw him starting to pull out? I thought, oh no, you don't. I literally saw you get in front of him in my rear view mirror. <laughs> if you like Pringles, um, flash if you like Doritos. <laughs> shift was on about wasn't the one right at the start it was somebody else that thought it'd be an idea to try and swerve towards CC and then swerve back at the last moment and at one point just didn't swerve out quick enough Oosh. yeah don't go ramming CC it's not a wise move C31 Delta is now playing Euro truck Is your problems. sat now by any chance telling you to go left? Here. Yeah, it's one of those where it doesn't matter which way round you go. Yeah, I'm, j I'm just, I'm glad yours is just telling you the same way as mine. Two six five kilometres left until end of this route. Two six five kilometres left. Ten four on that one. And Eddie, let them try that one again. I'm on camera direct. They're on camera directly behind them. <laughs> I've also been informed that somebody yeah. else has already been banned for it. Yeah, they're on camera too far for me. <laughs> I'm recording it. <laughs> but it, it's okay with uh, with those guys. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, BNC are a good, aren't too bad of a group. I was going 
driven with them a few times. I think you might have just been out of range on that last... Um, Literally by about a truck length, guarantee it. Slam down again. Ten four. Railroad crossing coming up. Ten four. This is the second convoy I've attended over the last few days that's had goddamn level crossings. <laughs> I got caught by the one on Drive with the Kings yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Quite literally, they'd gone down, but people were still driving through it, and I got to it and went smack. <laughs> well, I'm at, I'm at the two level crossings that we went over, I got through them both without getting stopped. Oh, I got through the second one alright, it was just the first one. I was seeing red flashing lights and the barriers down, but people were still going through, and I was only about fourth truck from the front. Yeah. No, I, I didn't get stuck by any of them. Which is nice. Yeah, we're using both lanes and then merging back after the level crossing. So I'm going to go left down lane. Fair enough. Well, I'm going to pull up alongside these because they've said to use both lanes. And then I will be I merging will be back in after you. Back in after you. Well, I'm right behind you, so... Well, they say use both lanes. So, basically, what you want me to do is get it back in so I can let you in, basically. really weird because they'd said to use both lanes but there was only one lane of traffic yeah I know so we're now separated by one truck each <laughs> no they mean it when it shuts and it was like wait a minute yeah that was a bit misleading that was yeah that was a bit misleading I thought that that junction that we'd come up to was the level crossing, not after the turn. Yeah, I must admit I did the same thing, so hey ho. Oh, and I've got a slow coach now in front of me. I managed to get back in behind the B and C guy. Yeah, I've got an um, an MG uh, MCG in front of me now. Yeah, he's one of the ETS two crew. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't be that one that's sending the messages in the chat by any chance, would it? E twenty. E ninety one. Oh, okay. Because there's one of their guys sending messages in the chat, thinking might be the one that's in front of B and C. Yeah, he is, because uh, the BMC guys literally just turned around and went, OK, catch! <laughs> 190 left, train 190 left, 190. 
Show ten four. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of kind of waiting for him to go into the back of my truck and try it. Like. <laughs> if I was still part of Viva, he'd be a Viva sandwich by now. Just put in the game chat that he's the only non TMP staff as part of CC. Yeah, I did see that. Level crossings down. Fair enough. Down lane, and then realised there was no point. You should be able to squeeze past me. I have. Hey, yeah, train. So if you're getting stuck behind that slow coach again, get yourself in front of me as we go across. Fair enough. This BNC guy doesn't lag too much either, so you shouldn't be too bad. Kill, will do. Oh! Oh, come on, train! Oh, there we go. Each one he literally just clipped the barrier. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I did see that. You know that guy that was right behind you? Yeah. Yeah, he just tried to come up on the left hand side of me and I just put my foot down and just very carefully went <laughs> over the middle line. Nice. You know when you get like the GPS drift on a phone where it just slightly goes off to the side? Yeah, that was me just then. <laughs> It might be a case of merge after the level crossing, but that doesn't mean to overtake. Oh yes, yeah, so, you know, I, th I think it's because he saw me come in front of you, and I don't realise he that we're friends and that you told me to go in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he realised is that we were chatting in the first place. See, this is the fun in games that we can have with CV when it's different VTCs oh, yeah. in public. Oh, too right. Oh, watch out for that right-hand turn coming up. Slowing down. Yeah, no worries. I was preemptively slowing down for this corner anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like taking corners too quick if I can help it. Steering wheel's a little too sensitive for it, and occasionally I end up going onto my side, which is not a good look. Oh no, that's definitely a Gorgon, that is. Oh, I've got an image of him having reversed to do a jump that he found within the game and ended up half and half off the map. 
<laughs> no, as in the scenery. Li like Mate, literally the scenery as he was driving suddenly at a 90 degree angle dropped about 20 foot below him. <laughs> And I wasn't glitched through the floor when I took the photo. <laughs> Alright, that was the best part, is literally, in dev cam, I wasn't below the floor, I was above. Yeah. And you could literally just see this 90 degree drop, where the terrain dropped, and it was like, how on earth did you manage to find that? Ah, uh, you know Gorgon. Very true, he will find something like that with a tractor if he could. Something like that is a magnet to him, he'll find it no matter where you put it. Very true, very true. Now, this is a beautiful bridge if it was daytime. Yeah. I it will be not so long ago. Yeah, I'm just keeping a distance um, from the sea at the minute. Yeah, no, I just... Keeping a sensible just, gap. Yeah, I just crept up on your ass a little bit quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> you realise, I didn't even realise that the rear end of your trailer was actually green, because all I can see is the red dotted line going around the outside of the tank. <laughs> well, at least I've got plenty of reflective um, for you. Oh yeah, that's not the issue, because I can, if I dip out a little bit, I can see the reflections off the guy in front, but I didn't realise that the back of your tanker was actually green in the middle of those red markers, until I put my high beams on that was. Yeah, she's green. What, um, white upper tank, grey stripe, green lower tank, with green, green, green end caps. Could have gone quiet, but I thought that would be too bright reflecting back. Yeah, 50 miles, 80k left, 80k left. That's for the fuel stop. Yeah, I could do with it, I'm about half tank now. <laughs> yeah, I'm at about half a tank as well. I am in a 6x4. I'm in a 6x2. Yeah, see, I'm in a 6x2.4, but Scania's have got beautiful fuel efficiency. Yeah, uh, mine's not too bad. I'm not going to lie, the fact that there's no speed limiter on this kind of wants me to be able to drive a car and just see how quick I can get the thing to go before I flip it. <laughs> I've hit well, 200 before. I've got drivable AI on single player and I've managed to hit 244 kilometers an hour before I physically couldn't turn the car for a corner. Fair enough. So needless to say I hit the barrier and went for a skyrocket while doing somersaults. Nice. Yeah, that was impressive. Really for prices for it. Yeah. No, that was impressive for stream to watch. Yeah, did you really prices for it? No, unfortunately not. I was literally on it on my own, so it was like... Oh. <laughs> Slowing down. Yeah, I'd already noticed. Until we've stopped because we haven't got much further to go. No. I shall put up with the pain for now. Yeah, well, I've, because I've had both my AstraZeneca jabs now, I, had, I ended up going to, going to hospital over my headaches because they were, I'd had it for like four days long. 
and the nurse said to me, if you get a headache for more than four days, you, there's a chance you might have blood clots. So, I uh, don't know that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those times where it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, um, so I took myself up there, they took a couple of vials of blood. Um, and what they think is, because I've was quite, i been, obviously my body's been dehydrated, although I can't see how. Considering I normally drink a litre and a half of, of juice a, a, a day sort of thing. Um, it was more down to that than anything else, which is a nice thing. Can you turn right turn ahead? Up ahead, aren't you? I am. Thank God for that. I thought they were doing another route switch on us. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I'm turning right, dude. Looks like we're doing a left up here. Yeah, that's what my sat nav's looking like it's doing, but who knows? Only the CC knows. Only the CC knows. Yeah, that is the true question. Yeah, we're going off to the right and then turning left at the bottom, either the top or the bottom of the junction, depending on which way it's going. Yeah, I, I noticed the interstate junction. And I've noticed that I'm staring at a screen. Hey, 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 it's the mango lover. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Shift? I was looking forward to driving behind the convoy, seeing as this is the last save, and then I realised, oh, it's only 15 kilometres left. Yeah, I literally just looked Fair at that and went, ooh, 20k left, that would do. What have you done, Shift, of... Uh, just dismissed your trailer and just driven. Shift, you failed me on that one. I was gonna say, it's not only me he doesn't answer them. I'm trying to multitask here! <laughs> It's not only me, he doesn't answer, and that's a relief. <laughs> he answered exactly the same time as you went over the CB as well, and he went, I'm trying to multitask. <laughs> Shift, you're not answering the phone. Is that you push to talk? I'm trying to multitask. Give me a mango so I can do it better. Well, I've got your mango juice on the back of me, but I haven't been able to stop to give it to you yet. This is interesting, we can't go straight on, we've got to go right. Yeah, they're going to take us down towards WGCC first. Well, guessing by Fly's message in the chat, somebody forgot to uh, toggle their headlights on and got kicked. <laughs> well, rip on that one. For some no reason we're getting the left lane. Yeah, they've started off at WGCC, they're going to go round the city from there. Ah, fair enough. 
So what happens if you want fuel? Then what do you do? There's gonna be a break between routes, don't worry about it. You'll have enough time to get fuel. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Captain Manning. <laughs> Route 3 is not due to plan on them kicking off until 5 pm. It's only 5 past 4. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a long break. Yeah, I was just thinking that is actually a long break, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right, it's into WGCC first and then fuel up after everybody's in. Fair enough. How many police cars did I want here at the beginning, at the end? Where are you parking up, buddy? Right by these posts just here, in line with them. Fair enough, I'll swing myself around. We just wait for the OK to go and get fuel. Fair enough. Uh, shift or landing, we want to use to be able to give us the all clear to be able to go and get fuel when it's available to us, please. Turn the camera off for a little bit. Just waiting for the go ahead to be able to Well I have a numb bump, that's for sure. I'm also going to turn the engine off for a minute. I thought I might remind you on that one. It's not too bad, as long as we can go and get fuel before the start of the next route. Leaving it on wasn't going to be an issue because the fuel stop's not that far from here. Yeah. Is it mirrors this guy in green to our left, the other side of these, this upright, got three very long trailers, or is it four? Or no, he's a, he's a triple, and he can reverse them like it's a single.
How he does it, I don't know. What do you mean reverse the fuckers like they're a single? Excuse my language. Well, when we was at the start of Route 1, he literally just pulled up alongside and reversed straight back. Oh yeah, no, if you get them all straight, if you get the entire truck straight enough, you can just reverse straight backwards. You yeah, yawned halfway through that sentence, I didn't catch it. You yeah, yawned during that sentence, I didn't catch it. Shift, when can we go and get fueled, buddy? Neddy, do you know if we're allowed to go and pick up fuel yet or not? Uh, Neddy, sorry to disturb you. Do you know if we can go and grab fuel or not? Shift you there, mate. So we are two routes down, one to go. Helga, welcome on in. We've got one more route to go, which I believe might not be kicking off until 5 p.m. So we've got about 45 minutes. If that's the case, um, I will be looking at taking a small break. Um, we're just waiting to find out if we can nip off to go. And, yep. Beautiful, that's the response we like to see. Come on, man, let's go. yard at the same time your trailer clipped the front of my truck.
turn left. That'll be why it kept telling me that my engine kept cutting on me for a second there. Yeah, I was wondering why I got three percent trailer damage. <laughs> yeah, we both seem to have left at the exact same time, so you ended up basically ghosting through me. I'm just going to go past it to clear my marker. I set my marker in the garage. Yeah, well I didn't because I was um, clicking it to uh, come in the other way, which would have meant I wouldn't have had to worry about it. Ah, uh, fair enough. Declan Keegan, thank you very much for the £50 donation. Just had another £50 donation going. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I'm turning left to get the discoverable on the way back. Fair enough, that sounds a good idea. Naughty, we did a bit of free roaming, naughty. Yeah, don't say it out loud. <laughs> Just watch out because obviously if we don't have priority at the traffic lights we do have to stop. Uh huh. Unless they're green for us of course. Exactly. garage as well while we're just in. Yeah, I'm going to repair my trailer. Might as well make use of... That was a case of it was just in the perfect spot, so it's a case of just make use of it while we can. right as you're coming out by the way. TXG Transport, thank you very much for your £20 donation. Those that are on CB5, we are now up 
to six hundred and seventy three pound raised. That's six seven three pound raised. Right, I'm gonna go and get myself something to eat and drink. Ten four. Oh, we're up to we're up to six eight three raised. That's six eight three raised. No worries, Landy. Have a good one, man. Thank you for being CC for the first two routes. It's much appreciated. And we are at £683 so far. I will be posting updates later um, as well when we get to the end for the final total at the end of the convoy. I am aware that it may go up after the end of the convoy. Okay, so Route 3 is kicking off at 4.45. Train, if you can hear me, Route 3 is kicking off 15 minutes early. That's 15 minutes early. Say that again. Route 3 is kicking off at 4.45 BST. That's 4.45 BST, not 5 p.m. What are we kicking? <laughs> So how many uh, minutes is that? Gives us 20 minutes. Lightning's just put in the announcements channel on the Discord that Route 3 is due to depart 15 minutes before schedule at 16.45 BST. Oh, I should be done, hopefully, by then. Uh, TXG Transport put the extra £20 in. Uh, I don't think Lightning's seen that one just yet. So yeah, we've got a 20 minute wait. Um, if people need to go and stretch their legs or anything, do, then do so. Uh, I will be stretching mine in a moment and taking a bio break before the next um, event start. Next route start, should I say.
info. I am aware that um, Truckers FM have got their convoy this evening. Um, unfortunately, if I am attending that, I will not be streaming it. Um, I may not actually be attending that one. Um, Due to the fact that I've been up since 5:30 a.m. this morning for my in my time, so I'm coming up to 11 hours awake already. Um, so by the time that one starts, which to be honest, if we're getting through these routes this quick, I might be able to join it. Um, but at the same time, by the time that's finished. I'm going to be so shattered um, that I might not be able to concentrate properly on the drive, um, which is not what I want. So I am going to take a quick bio break um, and go and stretch my legs. So I'm going to put it on the Be Right Back screen. I'm not going to run any adverts or anything. It's a charity convoy. I won't do that. Um, because it's just not right. Um, so I will see you guys momentarily. And I'm back. As we are waiting, I'm going to replay the video that I've been playing in between routes, um, which is 10 facts of the R about the RNLI that people may not know. Um, we, the RNLI does purely rely on public donations, so the fact that we've destroyed the target that was set for this event of £100 almost seven times over already and we've still got one route to go is absolutely brilliant um it has been an absolutely brilliant event run by a brilliant bunch of people um so i will be doing a massive thank you to all of them at the end um So I am going to play the video again for anybody that is new to the stream. 
which is this video here. Let's just quickly take that back a bit. Uh, and I need to bring up you. if I knew where my mouse was apologies bear with me guys there we go and this is what all the donations go to help towards So yeah, just a short video, um, just showcasing uh, what the RNLI do. Um, do definitely want to be part of any future events of this kind to do with the RNLI. I do fundraise for them in real life when I can. Um, obviously current conditions have not allowed us to be able to fundraise properly. Um, but this is a brilliant way of raising money. Um, and I'm really, really glad that the people that have set this up have done so. put my name down for this as soon as I heard about it. So we have unfortunately still got another 10 minutes. Right. So we're just waiting for kickoff now are we? And we are indeed 10 minutes. Wait we're in a football match now. Uh, everything's a football match to you, Shift. That and mangoes. Mangoes are sacred. Do we know where the finishing point of this Route 3 is yet, Shift? Take that as a no, then. Give him half a chance to find out and let us know. <laughs> it looks like it might be Polaris Lines. Ten four shift ten four. Uh, 
that's where my marker put it, so yeah. say that Polaris Lines does not look like it's going to be big enough to hold the convoy. I did think that myself when I looked at it, but... Well, well, we'll see when we get there. How many kilometres does yours say you've got to go? Eight six zero. Yeah, I have got my mark in the same spot then. They're exactly the same as I've got. So, well, if we were to leave now, it's like Chucky's telling me that we should get there at seventeen twenty two, but. Yeah, I've got to reinstall mine because I, I like the feature where it tells you how much fuel you, you had left in your tanks, but... I've never reinstalled... I've not yet reinstalled mine and I get still have that. I don't know, I, I had... Mine was giving me a little bit of issue, so I deinstalled it. Yeah, fair enough. I am making use of this break to snack, um, and also stretch my legs. So I was having these man days, all manner of issues with my game, um, and trying to play the TM, the um, um, SES's multiplayer. I was having multiple issues. In the end, I've given up on the, on um, SES's multiplayer until it actually comes out as part of the main game. I was going to say, is the uh, SES version of multiplayer any good yes it's it's a good little setup however if you've got like a modded profile or any modded trucks you can't play it at the moment yeah that's not surprising that it's still technically in paper so part but if you've got a, a straight down um, game truck and with a straight game profile that you've worked to get your garages and your money. Um, yeah, it, it's it, it's great because um, you can actually have the map open on your main screen that you can still see through it. It allows you to see your fellow players where they are on the map and which direction they're going in and up and stuff like that. It's really quite good. Fair enough. Yeah, I've watched a few videos on it, but I've not gone to the beta to actually test it out yet yeah like I say if you have um, a modded profile you can't make a fresh profile because it detects the modded profile that you're not even using and it's, it doesn't let you play it so yeah <laughs> yeah I'll definitely wait for 141 to drop normally then yeah I would uh, most definitely, that's what I'm going to play it as. But from what I have played with it, yeah, it's a good, I enjoy it quite much. It's quite a smart little setup. I don't know if I'm going to attend the TFM convoy tonight or not yet. What time's that on? I think it kicks off about 7pm. Oh, right. It's literally straight after it's this literally event. straight after this event. Uh, I 
kind of want to do it, but then again, I kind of also want to play some farm um, FS19 as well. Yeah, I still need to finish some work off on my rail route map and also sort out dinner, so hence why I probably won't be there. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm in the same camp as you. As much as I'd love to do that one, I've got the time to do it. But there's other games I want to play and stuff like that, so I probably won't do it either. Not this, not this time round, anyway. It'll be the first one that I've missed in a while. Oh, have you added um, shift on Steam yet? Uh, I saw it pop up actually, I just remembered about that and I do believe that the leave order should be getting announced any moment. Fair enough. Now have you added um, shift as your on friend on Steam yet or not? Because I know you've got to do that. Just confirmed. Cool. So no, because I know you said it, and I know what you like. <laughs> I know what I'm like. You get carried away with other things, and you forget things. <laughs> yeah, like taking a restroom break and showcasing an R and I video on stream, and just trying to kick the pain in the rear that's in my knee right now. Yeah, it's easy, easily done. Well, I've managed to eat a bowl of porridge and drink a big Sports Direct mug of coffee in the time that we've been sat here. <laughs> yeah, well, as I said, the leaving order should be getting announced any moment. Ah, that's fine. I make it 4.45, so it shouldn't be too long. I did notice it had uh, gone a bit thin on the ground. I must admit, I do like the guy to our left, his cab with that silver fox up, up the side. It's smart. I do believe that's not a fox. I think that is meant to be a tribal styled dragon. Oh really? Yeah, that looks more like a dragon than a fox. There we go, announcement's just gone out. Yeah, kind of see it a bit more now. From a gl glance yesterday, it just looked like a fox the way it was laid out. But yeah. I do love my try hair horns. Well, here we go for Route 3. Yes, third time's a charm, eh? Yeah, let's see if we can hit that £700 mark. That would be really nice. If, if, if we could hit that or more, that would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, we are we are only seventeen pound away from it. 
<laughs> if I had the money, mate, I'd make that happen, but unfortunately, money's tight in a minute. Mate, I'd make it happen myself. I was the first one to donate. Yeah. Normally, I like I say, I would because I, um, I have a mate that... I did have a mate, so I don't, can't say that now because I haven't spoke to him for a while, but... Um, he... I don't know if he still lives, but he was an ever, he was a lifeboat volunteer. So, yeah, they do, for what work what? they do. Uh, was that RLC guy getting stuck on? RLC guy getting stuck on. I haven't got a Scooby Doo. I saw him get stuck a couple of times, and I'm like, like he just got caught on. He just got caught on. Nah. Yeah, I do like their trailers. They are quite smart, those snail guys. Oh, yes. Bike on the way out, and it chopped your truck into neutral. <laughs> well, that was a bit bloody sudden. I wasn't expecting probably to go that quick. Mate, I'm just surprised it chopped me into bloody neutral. Oh, uh, well, what can I say? about to ask, I wonder when public gonna go, the next thing I see is you pulling out and I haven't got my engine started yet. <laughs> Mate, I had my engine on, handbrake off, in gear ready. Yeah, uh, you see, I, I was caught sleeping still. Naughty, naughty, sleeping at the wheel. Yeah, it's fine, I was parked up. Not like I was running down the road. Yeah, that's very true. I saw a few people nodding off us uh, on that 24 hour convoy the other month. <laughs> yeah, that was a good drive. I, di I did, did enjoy that. Mate, I did two 20 plus hour streams two weekends on the trot that month. Yeah, I, I remember you doing that. Not gonna lie, that second one did almost absolutely wreck me. I'm not coming surprised! The first 24 hour one I was live for 21 hours, and then the second one I was live for just over 25. My next big major major stream is going to be uh, start of January. Fair enough. Two year anniversary of becoming an affiliate on Twitch. Nice. something on once I've now I've almost got my PC up to well need it I might start getting into that sort of thing soon yeah I will warn you though that with the 1660 if you're going to try and stream ETS 2 slash ATS to knock your graphics down a bit I was thinking about like a high because I'm on ultra at the moment I should be alright, just 
keep an eye on it, you might have to drop it down to medium. If I do, I do. It's no, no, no sweats, no skin off my nose either. No, it's not a problem. It's just a case of keeping an eye on like drop frames and all that, yeah. and going from there basically. Well, let's put it this way: I've managed to significantly boost my FPS by this graphics card. Oh yeah, no doubt compared to what you was on. I've gone from like 20 or like to 60, sometimes even 61, if that's even at all possible. Uh, depends what it's maxed out at, um, slash limited to. Well, every now and then I'll notice it jump to 61 for FPS and then back to 60, up to 61, back to 60 again. It's like, 61? I didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, you'll probably find it's at like 60.5, so it rounds it up to the 61. Yeah, that'd be about, that would explain a lot. Like, most TVs are 29 and a half frames per second, not 30. Yeah, that would explain a lot, a lot of things too. Oh yes. That's one thing I, I, I do need to do is get, when I can afford it, get a proper monitor and not use my Sony TV. looking at saving up to change two of my monitors over so that I've got four of the same monitor and then it's a case of upgrading the RAM if I need to and then graphics card's going to be the last thing to get upgraded. Well all I'll say is to, to you dude if, if and when you do change them out if you want to let me know how much and I'll be quite happy to buy them off you. I need to double check what I've actually got in there at the moment and what's compatible with the board that I'm running. I mean like your monitors, if when you swap your monitors over, if you want some money back, I'll quite happily buy them for a reasonable price obviously. Mate, postage on monitors is an absolute nightmare. Oh no, I don't expect you to post them, I'll come and get them. True, I keep forgetting that you're not that far from us. No, and I drive, and in October time I'm going up to um, Clacton on Sea anyway, so there's no, no sweat off my nose. I've done that journey many, many a time when I used to go up and see my dad in Silver End, so yeah, it's no skin off my nose. So instead of you struggling to, um, instead of you struggling and sitting on a couple of monitors that you can't move or sell or, or taken a while, I'll be quite happy to buy some second hand monitors because one, I know you and I know how you treat your, your screen so I'd know I'd be getting a decent product still and two, it helps you out so win win all round. Oh yeah, although I might keep hold of them though because uh, I do want to look at going to a two PC setup at some point. Yeah, well that's absolutely fine. Um, if you want to keep hold of them, once again, that's absolutely fine. I was just thinking, if you wanted to um, get some money back, so you weren't so far out of pocket, um, I thought, well, I'll quite happily buy them for um, from you, so you've got some money back. Now. So, in so like costing you two, it might only cost you one monitor, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. And we've got a left hand turn coming up. I suppose that with this pandemic, it helping your mates out is what it's all about, really, isn't it? Oh yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I like the fact that they've chosen the RNLI for the charity for this event, because the RNLI, obviously, with the pandemic and that, haven't been able to fundraise in the traditional way. Oh yeah, most definitely. 
Like, I've not done a physical in-person bucket collection for the last two years. Yeah, that's why, because um, I like going down to the Devon um, and Somerset area. Normally when I'm down there, I'll go to the lifeboat stations where I am and give them some, give them what I, what I can officially afford at that time. So I always do do my little bit, but it's not as often as I would like, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know that feeling. Because like I say, for what those guys and girls do for us as people when we're out on sea, if they weren't there, God knows what would happen. Exactly. Yeah, I will be posting the video that I've been showing on stream into the um, media channel on their Discord at the end of this route that, uh, as part of the massive thank you to everybody that's donated. Yeah, why not? I've already been given permission for it as well. Cool, nice. Did you see the pictures I sent to Matty of all the Viva drivers on on a on um, a convoy that I was on? Uh, probably not. Uh, I've not been keeping that much of an eye on Discord as I probably should have been. Well, I can't remember what convoy it was, but I was in Tree ET, and I happened to put my dev cam on the road facing slightly up and so every, every time Viva got close I, was hit, I clicked F12 and uh, Matty said thank you for the awesome pictures <laughs> yeah that's the thing shift goes to me I, shift goes to me I didn't know you was a uh, media team of Viva today <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's the thing though if you get the dev cam in just the right position you can get some absolutely gorgeous screenshots yeah, I had it like so, like it was laying down, but with the camera tilted up, and I got it. So any perspective. So when the trucks actually went over you, they you actually went straight under the undercarriage of the truck. Very nice. Very nice. So I was literally getting pictures of the of the guys before they went over me, and some close up, some quite far back. Of every Viva guy, it was Matty was like, "Thanks for the pics." I was like, "No worries, no worries." Good old border crossings. Don't you love them? Depends how many there are on the route. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. And uh, you can go around the grass on them. Uh, this one's a no grass route. Not through this first one, anyway. Ah, that's no fun. You want to go back to your grassroots every now and then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get the old Fromo out as you go, as you go round them. <laughs> Fromo, just attach the blades to the undercarriage of your truck, you're fine. That's what I'm saying, get the old Fromo out. <laughs> Oh hello, someone's dropped 50. Uh, Did you just see that? Uh, no new donations have actually come no through yet. Oh, someone's just um, in red from EAT has put um, 50 quid time up. Or was that the reaction to the 50 um, previously? Uh, that's something to do with like bribing the border officials.
So what we're sitting at now in terms of money raised? Uh, six, eight, three, six hundred and eighty-three pound raised so far. Nice. Bear in, just remember though, five hundred of that was literally from one person. Oh yeah, I remember that. Did we hit the barrier? Can I point out on my screen that barrier was up? Yeah, I've had those issues before. That barrier was actually up when I went to pull forwards and I still hit that mystery wall. Yeah. Mystery wall. Yeah, I've had that before now, dude. You're not the only one. As I said, I had a bit of train barrier yesterday. The barrier was down, but people were still driving through it. I go to it and go smack. <laughs> yeah. You got two lanes at the next one train. Is it a double lane or is it? Yeah, two lanes. Only because I knew you was going to be coming quite quickly up to the rear of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who said I was going to ever do something like that? Can I just point out, I think that pilot car just got caught by that barrier. Uh, yeah. So I did see that correctly, that he went bounce. Eh, uh, yeah. Lol. That's the only thing, the border checkpoints don't sync as nicely as like the toll barriers with the telepass lanes. Oh, I've got oh yeah. No, oh, would you know that uh, you, you took and let me know in advance because you knew I was coming in your tail click, would you mean? Because if you're anything like me, you'd have floored it between the two of them. You actually know me too well then. <laughs> yeah, we're also slow enough shortly after that fuel stop on the sat nav. Are you now? Yeah, I've just caught up to the back of the rest of the convoy. Oh no, I'm behind you. Got up to about 140 then. <laughs> Sometimes I like the I like these checkpoints because you get a nice bit of road where you can really floor it. Oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It is nice to be able to let the truck stretch its legs a little bit. Speaking of. Border crossing shift. I hope there's not too many on this route. Uh, there are two border crossings. You've done one, I believe. There is another one up ahead. Uh, if it's only the two, I can live with that. I don't want like six like we had on one event. <coughs> and my reply. <laughs> No, but I know full well shift knows which event I was on about. Yeah, was that Gorgon's one where it was toll, um, checkpoint or toll booth after one after the after the other? The French one, wasn't it? Yeah, but you see, it, the thing with those is nine times out of ten they're telepass. They've got telepass lanes, so they're not an issue. True, very true. All you have to do is just judge your speed correctly on those and you can just go flying straight through. It's the border crossings that cause the hold-ups and the level crossings. Gorgon judging his speed, those two, those map centres don't go together. He can judge his speed quite well, thank you. Gorgon can't. He can when he needs to. 
Yeah, when he needs to, but how, how many times have you been in a convoy and seen him bounce because he's hit the barrier? None. Believe it or not. Really? Yeah. I've seen him do it half a dozen times when I was in Beaver convoys. I've been sat right behind him and never seen him bounce. Well, I have been. I th it's like normally when you've been up ahead of him, and it's been like because I was more than back when Gorgon has been, and it's like I, I looked up and then seen his, his back end jiggle because he's hit the barrier. Yeah, but then don't forget back then you would have been nearer the back because you'd have lagged a little bit off more often. Hell yeah. Oh, I can smell a barbecue. My my hay fever is just to start playing haywire this afternoon. I cannot smell a thing at my end. Well, it smells barbecue. I'm thinking it's more like the chip shop that someone's ordered like a beef burger from them, and it's done by it's done on the same grill as like you get um, chicken kebabs and stuff like that, cheese kebabs. Ah, uh, fair enough. And it's wafting up and it's making me f even hungrier. <laughs> oh, they had a bad poison, I want another one. God, I ended up to. Uh, the... No singing. Mate, I did that and it put the Italian job tune in my head. <laughs> Which one? The original one or the remake? remade one? Original, of course. Oh, Which, I don't know. The tune that I was thinking of was also re reused in the remake. Yeah, I can only say I've only seen the remade version um, of it, but it, yeah, um, if they've done it any justice, I can see how the original one would have been quite good. It's the tune that they d used when they do the uh, chase scene with the three minis. Oh yeah, 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 through the, through the um, storm drain um, thingy. Yeah, they used the same tune in the remake for that scene as they did in the original one with the three minis. Nice. Which was a beautiful little touch scene as it was a remake. Yeah, when they do films like that where they actually give nods to the original, um, but make it more modernised with a bit more of a modern storyline. I like them because they're not trying to rip off the original; they're actually giving a homage to the original. And especially yeah. when you've got a couple of the original actors in it from the first film in the new f in the later film. That's quite sweet as well. Definitely. I'm showing just under 640 for to 640. Yeah, I'm just under that. I've got 638. I did say just under. Because <laughs> the other one um, film like that I liked was Tron. I don't know if you've ever seen Tron seen it but quite a while ago. Have you watched Tron Legacy? Possibly. I'm not gonna lie, kinda lose track of what films I've watched and what films I haven't lately. Well basically you know you obviously you remember the original eighties Tron. <clears throat> well in Tron Legacy you still got Flynn um, who the same actor played Flynn from the original into the current day one and yeah they 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 done a quite a um, quite a cool twist on the actual film but keeping it um, true to its original uh, to the original that's quite smart to watch yeah if the Anything like that where they 
keep as true as they can to the original if they're remaking it is always brilliant to watch. It's not a remake of the film, it's more of a ch um, chapter part two where if you remember in the original um, they atomise that orange and Flynn gets pulled into the game where it's it kind of carries on from that after Flynn becomes the CEO of um, Encom and he goes missing and then the story unleashes and it, it's really quite quite a good um, twist on the um, same sort of games, the same sort of computerised vibe but in a, in a more modern time of computerised age and photography really worth a watch yeah I'll definitely check it out if I can get some spare time later and we've got mangoes all over the roundabout shift I didn't catch a word of that It's not a roundabout, it's a mango belt. <laughs> it's a roundabout, there's no mangoes on it, shift. There are mangoes on it if shift's on the roundabout. And even then they're normally straight over about. Very true, very true. Got a CC car coming up alongside of us, so no swervy swervy. That's probably going to be creeper. Oh no, it was lightning. McQueen! Can I point out the CC colours aren't actually that far off a of lightning McQueen out of cars? No, and they are very good films as well. I do like, do they enjoy watching indeed. them. My favourite character is Mater. <laughs> you mean the uh, tow truck that gives out all the dad jokes in the film. Yeah, but I like the, the first film where he finally gets his head and he changes, his voice changes. That made me laugh. Because you hear a mater for the whole film um, without his bonnet on, and when he gets his bonnet on, his voice changes. It was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I just like the theory behind the films. Yeah. But, believe it or not, do you remember Storyteller um, when it was about? No offence, not as old as you there, Train. That is not one that I remember. I, that's what I said, do you remember? Because I wasn't too sure whether you would have had them or not. But in one of the um, Storyteller magazines and tapes, because you had a tape to go with it so you could Look, look at the pictures and listen to it or just you, uh, put it on for your children in the background to send them to sleep there was a young boy that had all of his toy cars with the eyes and it was pretty much like the film so um, I wondered if they had seen that and taken that as an inspiration for a film possibly uh what I mean about theory is like which the was pretty cool theory about how they fit in within the Pixar universe yeah and like how every Pixar films connected somehow yeah I can see that There's also that one planes, I don't know if you ever saw that one, um, like basically like cars. I've seen bits and pieces when I've done babysitting, but never sat and properly watched. It basically got turned off when the kids got bored. Yeah, that's that's quite a good, cool, um, cool one. It's pretty much the same as cars, but obviously in planes, the um, same concept. Um, Along the line, the story go. The storyline is um, 
the main character, his engine is pretty much shot, so he can't race no more, so he has to do a new career. And he gets drafted into the fire brigade. Now, he's, he's been told that he can't redline his engine, otherwise his gearbox will seize up. So, to be a firefighter, you've got to punch your engine to get the water in your in, on board to be able to pull off again and and there was a waterfall scene where he always had to pull up and he kept bottling it because he he was told he couldn't redline his engine fear of his gearbox cracking and seizing and like you're just saying with cars they have um, a car element where there's a car hotel and there's a big fire and uh, basically at the end of it he has to either let these two old um, people um, the camper vans perish or punch his engine through the red line to get the water to get up the waterfall to put the, their fire up to save them and of course he does that and true enough his, his, his gearbox cracks up and it then comes clear why he was reluctant to redline his engine. Needless to say, their um, mechanics repairs his gearbox yeah. and made it better than ever. Yeah. Pretty much the story of that film. Oh, got Quite nervous. cool, really. I hate it. Ah, oh, this is that awful one that I screwed up on um, when I was um, convoying with shift scouting this route out. <laughs> I took a wrong turn and, and ended up going straight on, that was it. <laughs> I'm thinking, oops, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, a little trick with it is you stop a little bit short but still have the message come up and then as soon as you've hit the enter button you slowly start to pull towards the barrier and it actually does go up a little bit quicker ah fair enough in theory this should be the second and last border crossing of the route yeah I believe it is <laughs> Excuse me. Apologies about that. I need to remove my mouse because it kept juttering. Oh, it's that one where you turn left and it's actually on the left hand side instead of the right. one lane this side don't so do watch out as you come in round that last corner.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Or it's Friday once you're out of there until I say otherwise. <coughs> yeah, I won't get in about the floor at Friday either, by the way. I won't get in about the floor at Friday, will I? Woo! Do bear with me, I just need to sort my nose out. not understand your word of that, eh? Et moi aussi, j'ai pas le temps anglais, j'ai pas le seul mot français. Et alors, allez-y, on y va. I will be hanging around for a little bit at the end of the route, 
just to see if any further donations come in from the guys that are currently driving um, as well as posting a message out to Lightning, Lightning who was the event organizer for this I'm currently wrong foot driving because my knee has actually just gone to sleep. Showing 595 kilometers left. 595. I wonder if Dragon's, if he's still behind us. Can you still hear me? Because if you can hear me, I can't hear you at the moment. Can you hear me, Hunter? I can now. Yeah, somehow I managed to knock my, my CB up to number six. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, <laughs> it's me um, talking to you saying, is this a um, mango um, corner or mango roundabout again? And I was like, no one's answering me. Why's that? And I looked up and was like, channel six. I was like, ah, that'd be what. So I'd be having a conversation to myself. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm actually having to go wrong foot driving at the moment because my knee's physically gone to sleep right now, so I'm stretching it out to try and wake it up again. Oosh. Yeah, that's not clever. Not nice at all, no. No, I can imagine. I can seriously imagine that. It's painful when my coccyx um, goes numb. So I hate to think what it would be like for a knee. It's only where I've done so much driving o over the last few days that it's playing up. Normally it wouldn't be playing up as much. Yeah. No, it kind of sucks. I'm also not technically sitting in the best of positions to use the pedals correctly. No. Um, I'm pretty high up, so my... my my legs are bent as like they would normally be on a on a chair, but yeah, even my knees still hurt at times. Well, my knees are at just under a ninety degree angle to use the pedals. Yeah, mine are pretty much nine, uh, eighty-five sort of angle. Between 18 and 85. Yeah, I was going 120, 130, 140, 
and like no response and then when I looked I was like ah <laughs> well I am at I'm five five two L five fifty. Yeah, I'm five five. I'm five fifty now. I've somehow managed to open up the Teamspeak overlay. Really weird. Really weird. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, no. From that last um, checkpoint, I was like. 120, 130, 140, and then from you and it's like, ah, why can I not hear? And then I looked up and was like, ah, that'll be why. <laughs> yeah, literally as I got through it, I went, I was going to be floor it Friday for a little while. Yeah, I heard that bit and then I was, I was calling out my speeds and I must have knocked the up, um, see the up channel key and turned it to channel 6 instead of channel 5. <laughs> I don't have keys set to switch the CB radio channel. I do, because like normally when you on 19, you get all the screamers. It's nice to be able to flick it down a, a channel number quickly and effortlessly, so you don't have to listen to listen to it or hunt for the keys. True, but at the same time, I also quite like having 19 on if I'm just doing casual driving because it helps with the recordings. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. Does your sat nav want to go right here? Yep. Yeah. Mine too. Now it wants me to go around all the clover leaves. <laughs> yeah, it one. wants me to do three out of four of them. Quite a cool convoy loop, wouldn't it? Mate, I've heard of Viva Donuts, but convoy, convoy triple donut? That'd be insane. Yeah, I know, a convoy clover. Where you come off, go around all the clovers to come back on again. <laughs> that would literally cause such a mess if you were to do all four. It can be cool to see. <laughs> so you know, the dots go all the way around the four times just to really manage them back on the same highway. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'd be one of those that would cheat and just go that little bit further ahead and just wait for everybody to come back up. <laughs> and while I'm waiting, I dev cam it to record it. Because, <laughs> like you said, that would be a mess. Because as the front is trying to re-emerge, the tail's still trying to go round it. <laughs> exactly. Remember the, on the old phones when you used to play Snake and you ended up running into your own tail? Yeah, I remember Snake. Oh <laughs> 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 yeah, it's very much so. <laughs> Landy, thank you very much for that five pound donation. 688 raised. Lovely. Hey, we've got a police car with a caravan. He's obviously going camping then. Camping for the speeders, that's what it is. Got to have somewhere to make the tea and cook the donuts. I've heard, I've heard of the flying pigs, but I've never heard of the camping pigs. <laughs> True.
Bloody what? Mangles. <laughs> Shift, do you know what time the I have been called up? Left that one a bit too late, dude. Fair. I'll ask him when we next see him. I'm only going to have two green dots on my map now because uh, Landy's had to dip off. Yeah, he had to go out. He was um, when I spoke to him on uh, Discord. So he popped onto my channel. He was he sounded a bit of a bit bit down, like a bummer that he had to leave, not do um, convoy three. Yeah, he, if he's doing something like this, he prefers to be able to do every route rather than having to leave halfway through. Although I almost didn't do route three. I almost didn't do route three. Yeah, I'm glad you. I'm glad you have decided to do route three because I've got someone to talk to. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd have had a genuine reason for not doing route three, but it had to get postponed. So. Oh no, I get that, but it's still nicer to have someone I can talk to to make my convoy a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, it is always nice to be able to chat to somebody while driving. So I'm sorry, whatever it was, it's was post by, but I'm also glad, because at least I've got a friend to talk to. <laughs> I might be stepping up in the world a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, another run on the ladder, eh? Uh, kind of. Cool. Home-wise or work-wise? 50-50. Mm, nice. I'll take that. <laughs> Work wise, but at home. Ah, even better. Hence the 50 50. Hence the 50 50. Nice. <laughs> Fair play to you, sir. Fair play to you. I wish I, I could say I had a job, but I still don't. Yeah, it's not a paid job, but fingers crossed. Hey, sometimes doing a bit of charity work or free work gets you into a, a career that gets you paid work. Very true. It's just something else that I can add to my CV, basically. Yeah, more bow, more strings to your bow, the better you are being um, chance of getting employed by someone. Oh, I've got plenty of strings to my bow already, just some of it I don't have the paperwork for. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Right, I can quite, I could quite happily go and jump on a counterbalance forklift, but I'm not allowed to because I don't have that little bit of paperwork anymore that says that I can. Yep, yeah, that's the same with me. I've got a telehander license, but yet I can't drive a counterbalance, and I can't drive an off off um, off terrain counterbalance. Kind of sucks, really. Uh, I was up to two and a half ton. CB like forklift. Nice. Although a telehandler, in my eyes, is a rough terrain four wheel drive, four wheel steered forklift, which is a, technically a counterbalance, but hey ho. Uh, the construction industry world is one license for all for one specific machine, not one license for all. Which kind of is a stupid way of looking at it. Yeah and no, it's mainly to cover their own asses. Oh yeah, no, I get why they ha they have to do it like that, but it's still a bit of a. Well, I can drive that big machine. What? Why can't I drive this little one? But yeah, I know what you're saying. Because I've practically grown up in that world. No, the worst one for me was having to turn down a twenty-five pound per hour forklift job, all because I didn't have a full UK driving license. Ouch! Yeah, that one hurt big time. 
they were going to retrain me oh, the, yeah. the works and then the very last question they asked was do you have a full UK driving license and I mean the very last question so I turned around and said it would have been better off you started right at the start of all of this with that specific question could have saved us both a load of time hell yeah hell yeah and they were like, oh, it's such a pity because we'd have trained you up in all sorts and we'd have got you trained up on other trucks and that as well. And I was like, yeah, it's just unfortunate that I don't have a green, I don't have a pink UK driving license. I only have a green one. Yeah, that kind of sucks, dude. Wow. Uh, I am well, that was, that was looking like at saving up to do a crash course in driving to get it switched from green to pink. Yeah, I don't blame you, it was like me. Um, the other day I had a potential job with immediate start and when it came down to it, it was um, self-employed work, which I've never been, and it was like, dude, I can't do that because I don't have the money from the accountant. And I'm no good with my money, I need PAYE, and he was like, damn, I could have been back in the seat of a dig or something. You see, I'd, I'd kind of happily, really. happily do self-employed and that, I've got mates that will quite happily help us with the accounting side of it. So it, it yeah, you see, that's where we... Not having the paperwork or the experience to be able to. Yeah, and that's where we, we differ. You've got mates in that world, I don't. So it would be, I'd have to pay someone and I would struggle to do that. And it's like, it's no no good for me. Oh, yeah, no, I've always been PAYE and that's all I know. Yeah, don't get me wrong, they'd still charge us, but it wouldn't be the same rate as like they'd charge you, basically, kind of thing. Oh yeah, most definitely. I've got a mate that I turn around and buy them a case of adult beverage and that would be it. Yeah, but the, the, the other upside of it is you can actually get you replace your whole PC for a brand new one and claim the tax back because you just turn and say it's for work purposes. That is true. But at the same time, some place, some uh, things like that. I don't really quite sit too well with people. No, but at the end of the day, if you need a whole new PC um, for, for work, you need a new PC for work, why not make it a gaming one? Still can do the job for it as a non regular PC, but yet you can play games on it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that would be my ideal plan. And then I'd have this one basically as the one that would deal with the streaming software. Yeah, you, you go out and you get yourself a six grand PC and claim all the tax back. <laughs> yeah, what I mean by a place is not always liking that is because of the specs that it would be, they can turn around and go, yeah, that's definitely not a work build. Oh yeah, I, I totally get that. 480 left. We are just over halfway done on this last route. That's what you like to see. Yep. And we are £12 short of hitting the £700. You never know, someone may just drop that £12 or more. Yeah, I'm going to be sticking around at the end just to see if any further donations come in from those that are still driving. Yeah. Because if people are anything like me, they won't do it while they're driving, they'll wait until the end, or they'll have done it at the beginning. And I was the only one that seemed to do it at the beginning, so I'm guessing anybody else that's driving will wait until the end to do it. Yeah, that's probably a fair assumption. At the end of the day, if they don't, they don't. If they do, they do. 
case of whatever we can raise, we raise. And the fact that we're 688% over the target. Well, yeah, because basically you're 588 pounds um, over your main goal. Yeah, exactly. So we're, what, 588% over what the target was originally, which is brilliant. Hell yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good sum of money. Oh god, yeah. Oh hell yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, £700 would pay for a full offshore kit for at least two crew members, if I'm not mistaken. That is the, that's the sum, that's what you that's worth um, doing the drive. Oh to yeah. To do definitely. that for them, for what they do for us. Um, it's just a shame we haven't got more people, and it's triple that amount. But hey, well, beggars can't them, be choosers. This is a good sum of money. Give them time. If they can keep this event up and do it, keep doing it regularly enough, it will go higher and higher every time. Oh yeah, no, no, definitely. Especially as and when it and um, the word gets out that how how good these convoy this convoy. That's all right. I was going to hit you then, but I stopped in time. <laughs> uh, if you hit me, um, you hit me as long as you didn't send me flying. Yeah, no. I, I try my best to not be that old person, if you know what I mean. Mango. Mango bridge, and it's an open bridge. It it does actually open. It shouldn't open by the time you guys reach it, but it does open. Oh, it's one like that, is it? I was saying that with where Harvey was sitting. If it did open, that would have been hilarious. He was straddled right where it would split. <laughs> so, uh, what, what film's that out of? Um, where you, that copper, uh, Die Hard, isn't it, I think? Oh, where he ends up so home on, so on the bridge with his front wheels over the, over the gap because he thought he could follow. Police Academy has <laughs> yeah, done that. Uh, that. There's been so many yeah. films in that that have done it. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been funny. I'm not going to lie, I'd forgotten what I was going to ask you. Oh, yeah. Um, you were going to ask him about the uh, TFM route. That's alright. If we see Neddy on the way past, then I'll ask them because they may know. Fair enough. and then all of a sudden the lights go off. Shouldn't do. Unless... <laughs> no, what uh, SES and TMP have done is unless they are baked into the map themselves, itself, then it's based on traffic percentage. Yeah, yeah. So the lower the traffic percentage, the less it gets you, it'll go up and down. Yeah, I can see that. So, on TMP, if it's one of the traffic percentage ones, because there is no AI traffic, it never goes down. Fair 
Fair enough. There goes the lightning. Yeah, just saw that. Blinking, you'll miss him. Yeah, quite literally sometimes. He does like the floor those cars. <laughs> if, he, if he could put wings on it, he'd take off. He probably would. The lightning does seem like the kind That's of guy that would do it. Yeah, do, do a taxi. <laughs> remember them? Do you remember those films, Taxi? Nope. I don't think it was an English film turned to French, but I've only seen it in French with subtitles. Pretty much, um, there's a guy that has a Peugeot, and he's got it all souped up, all tricked out, and in Taxi 2, he even turns it into a plane, so he's bombing up to the airport perimeter fence, he flicks out the wings and flies over the perimeter fence. <laughs> For anybody that has joined us on the stream, if you're on Twitch, if you do exclamation mark R N L I D O N O, all one word, it'll give you the link if you wish to donate. On you, for those on YouTube, it's in the description just down below. We are currently at £688 raised on this event. This is the very first event, of, I believe, as well for Coastal Convoys. Um, so the fact that we've hit such a high amount already is absolutely brilliant. late and hearing him too. <laughs> Wait, I heard him too as the rear of my truck had passed him. Same here. Or is it him tooting the guy behind but super bloody early? Possibly. So it sounds like he's tooting you when, he, when your back of his truck goes past him. Not gonna lie, I heard the engine over your CB and thought somebody was about to race up past us in the game. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, don't be, we're up in a wake since half five this morning and my brain's there, but not there if you know what I mean. Yeah. Someone's at um, the lights on, but no one's at home. Not far off. Just as a heads up, I'm not too sure where about they are in the convoy, but somebody's pulling over to drop out. But as I said, I don't know too sure where about they are. Yeah, I did see that myself. Which means they're either close enough in front or close enough behind for us to be able to see it. 
Yeah, they're either, either directly in front or directly behind, but by the looks of it, he do, he's not too well. Yeah, no, I was just seeing that. Didn't we just see his twin brother go past just a moment ago? Oh, he was going to say, Jesus, he went this quick. If he's gone past us in the same direction, twice. Uh, I've had he's gone past us in the same direction at least four times over the last 100 to 150 kilometers. He must be doing auto, he must be doing reloads further up and then bombing past us. Yep. That's lightning for you. Lightning in name, lightning by nature. Oh yes. And we shift, it's shift by name, mango by nature. <laughs> <laughs> That might make you chuckle. Uh, departure for time for TFM is 7 pm BST. Meet up started in half hour. Uh, no. According to Truckee, we've got 17 minutes left of this route. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen somehow. Neither do I. That would mean dropping out now just to be get your truck over to the start point in time, if you know what I mean. And switch trucks, like if you've got a switch truck, like I would have to. And I've got to switch my tag. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, you ain't gonna get that. You ain't gonna do it in time. Not if you finish this convoy out, which I get, get guessing that's what you want to do. Wow, somebody in Viva's literally turned around and gifted Viva one of each of the map extensions. Well, that's nice of them. So they're doing a giveaway to anybody that reacts under it and they're gonna basically go through each reaction and select somebody to receive that specific DLC. Unfortunately for me I've got all of my map DLCs so unless it's one of the later ones coming out I don't need it. Same here. Bye shift. Train just to warn you, I have to slam my anchors on up ahead. I saw ya. Cats come back for tea now. Yeah. Right, I'm not gonna chat for a minute because I'm gonna get a message trucked up ready to send it to Lightning if we go past him again. Count noise. Thankfully, because I drive with a steering wheel, I can have that set up ready. The downside is I can't highlight it to copy it.
At least I can close that though. So I'm just waiting to see uh, APX Lightning nearby um, to post a message. This is the route of many roundabouts. Yeah, it is. This is not a roundabout, this is just a garden speed bump. It would have been if you weren't in the in way your shift. Case, in your case, in your um, case, yes, shift, it's straight over for you. Oh, that's why it, it's got an overabout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the way we both said yep at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been many a time me and Shift have both got air going over a roundabout. Yeah, at least, at least I've, I've got the better one. I've run, run, run around the roundabout on a recce with Shift. Hit the railing, flipped up into the air, somersaulted it about three or four times, but landed back on my wheels. Pissing the wrong way, mind you, down the road, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always a good one to do. I was facing the railway, I hit the barrier, then by the time I landed back on my wheels, I was facing the opposite direction. <laughs> Shifts over about. Yeah, I wouldn't with that one. Ones like that tend to have a dip yeah. tucked away in the middle. Yeah, I can imagine that happening. I found that one out the hard way a few times. <laughs> 270, I can imagine. Six zero kilometers left. Truckers FM convoy left after this. 
Unfortunately, ship, I'm not right. attending that one. I was going to say, where is he picking us up this far out, but then I've just seen him. Yeah, he's coming up here already. Wow, is there that fewer number of us left shift that you've been able to jump ahead that quickly? Pretty much. Fair enough. Well, as you probably saw in the uh, text chat earlier, we're up to 688 raised. Yeah, we're pretty close to, to, to the 700 mark. Mate, if, for, is th this is the first event of this kind as well, isn't it? Damn it, I think I might have been just out of range of that one. Yeah, I kind of think you were. What I thought it sometimes helps is pulling up tab when you want to do that so you can see the counter clicking away. Mate, nine times out of ten he doesn't show as one of the nearest players to be able to see what his distance is. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, my cat's got a wind, a wind up his bum. Oh, mad half hour time. <laughs> yeah. With whatever he can find on the floor. <laughs> find one of those little clear wrappers from like a boiled sweet, scrunch it up and launch it one. I don't know how to play with that, you'll play with golf balls, bouncy balls, you name it, pens, wire, hairbands, anything he finds that he, he thinks it's something he wants to bounce on, he'll play with it. <laughs> That's where you get a laser pointer and just point it to the back of your head and just every now and then just shake your head around so it moves. You don't like laser pens. Is he not one that will chase a little red dot? No. It'll it, fall over his head and he'll go, what do you mean to do with that? <laughs> that is unusual for a cat. Seriously, you you wiggle it from side to side, his head will go as, as he's watching it, but he won't pounce on it and he won't put it out for it. It was like, yeah, it's just a little coloured dot on the floor spinning. What do you want? Yeah, that's really unusual for cats. How many cats do you know that actually re ro rotate their hind legs to lay themselves totally flat to the floor? Most of them when they want to get comfortable. Our cat does it 24-7 with him hanging over the edge of the bed looking at the floor. Sounds about right. I had a dog that used to do that. If I remember at the end of the convoy, I'll, I'll send it to uh, send a picture of him to you on, on Discord off my phone. Fair enough. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for a green dot on my map again. 200 left to go. Beautiful. And Landy, you've just been shouted out on the Coastal Convoy Discord.
there might be a possibility of his dog coming. I've just set my cruise control at 45 kilometers an hour for now. Fair enough. Well, it seems to be our average speed, so unless I need to slow down, that's what I'm going to stick at in a minute. I've just speed set mine for 43. Down. Set mine at 43. Yeah. It's one of the reasons I like being at the start of a convoy, is that where you can set it and you're all good. Uh huh. That was beautiful yesterday at Drive of the Kings. Set cruise control and let it go. Yeah, I didn't find it too bad. Itching frickin' nose. Oh, itchy nose of the half. Oh, that's better. For now, at least. Oh, that's me opening up a drink. That's the only downside with these lights that I've got either side of us, and the fact that I'm wearing a polo and not a t normal t shirt or vest. Very, very warm. Fifty-two on my clock left to run, so yeah, can't see it being that much more. Uh, One forty-eight on mine, just hit, and truck is telling me seven minutes left. Which, given the current estimated arrival time on Truckee, would give six minutes to transfer over to the TFM event. Yeah, uh, ain't gonna happen, is it? Yeah, I'm not attending TFM today. Would have loved to, but with the finish time of this one, it's just not going to be feasible. Yeah, not practical. Not practical to do that. No, indeed it's not. Do you know what these buildings are to our right? Old borders. Old what? I think it's like a border crossing or something like that, like a checkpoint of some kind. Yeah, fair enough. Don't count, don't take my word on that though, because I have not actually got a clue, but that's what they look like. 
<coughs> yeah, that's what I thought they were, but I, it's just seeing them there, and they never seem to be used. So they must be just a bit of decoration now. They're not used in single player either. So that makes them just decoration for a bit of diversity. Yep, otherwise this entire road would be trees, 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 and more trees. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing better than driving down a forest road. It get too repetitive, people fall asleep. Yeah, great YouTube videos. <laughs> Not when you're likely to be one of them. Take a good night, all of my plenty of monster and you'll be well awake. <laughs> Well, I've got one of those. Although it's not that Pacific brand. Fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be shortly passing through Parnu. Uh, Parnu. <laughs> hey, Neddy, we're at six hundred and eighty-eight pounds raised so far. By the way. Almost seven hundred pounds raised for the RNLI. Have such a great difficulty saying those four letters. It's it's stupid. Yeah, I know, I know. I I, I think I'm I I need to have a talk with the HR tonight. Neddy, is this the very first event of this kind by any chance? Once again, you say it too late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Hunter, you want to say start off with that before you say anything else. Very true. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, Neddy can hear I'm us. I'm getting fired tonight. Neddy. Yeah, I'm getting fired tonight. Uh, I hope you're not. Neddy, is this the first event for Coastal Convoys in aid of RNLI by any chance? Uh, yeah, the first one that I'm part of. Yeah, it's the first one I've seen, because if I'd seen any others, obviously I'd have been straight away part of them being a fundraiser in real life. But it, it's like the first one I saw, so yeah, I think it's the first one. In which case, hitting almost £700 on the very first fundraising event is brilliant. Yeah, it is. It's like more than we expected. More, it's 588% over target. Yeah. But that's also because one of the the, the big uh, donation from TSI uh, TSI Sport. Yeah, TSI Sport doing 500% of the target in one hit. Brilliant. Then he goes out of CB range. <laughs> Won't be for long with there not being many of us. No, that's very true. Uh, we've got 57 miles to go. I'm reading. And the many mangles. There you shift. 
I'm reading 63 miles from where I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing lead, so 55 miles. Oh wow, if you're lead, there's really not a lot of us left. I know. I'm still on 96. <laughs> I've got like 12 on tap at the moment. 13. I must be near the middle then because I've got 22 on my nearby. I've still got 92 kilometers left on my route to go. I, I forgot to, to start uh, Turkey, uh, so I don't know the kilometers at the moment. Uh, well, I'm about halfway along the convoy because I'm showing 21 players on my nearby. I have 86 kilometers left. So do I now. Yeah, we got to be getting really close because it's cloud cl cocking down really quickly now. I've got 74 and counting. Oh yeah, we are not that far away. Trucky's telling me three minutes till the end. Yeah, if you keep into the speed limit, uh, we are on 25 miles an hour, so 40 kilometers. <laughs> oh, here comes someone. Oh, it's lightning again. Yeah, lightning's gonna race ahead towards the end now. Don't blame him. Overlay is not showing up on stream. That's handy. Excuse me. I'm going to wait around and for a little bit at the end just to see if any other donations come in from those that are still driving and aren't switching over to the TFM convoy, um, which unfortunately I won't be at tonight.
past an 18 wheeler I am re sorry laggy Lucas I am reading 30 kilometers left Sixteen left. Thirteen. Twelve. <laughs> Make your mind up, either thirteen or twelve. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm eleven. so few of us left that finish point might actually fit us all. Yeah, the finishing point is a hell of a lot bigger than it looks. Ah, oh, that's handy. Cheers, shift. Are we dismissing trailer's shift? No idea to be perfectly honest. There should be more than enough room to park with trailers. Fair enough. Well, I plan on keeping hold of mine if I can. You know, you know what it's like sometimes they say they ask you to dismiss. Neddy, thank you for leading that one. Watch out, Dragon. This is a collision zone where I currently am. 10 4. I'm still in collision. Yeah, I noticed that was on my screen. Is this where we're parking it up? <clears throat> well, I'm parking here for the moment. 
fair enough, then I'll shut my engine down. And they start to move by one of the event staff, obviously. Yeah, um, I'm just going to go and give my cat his tea and shut the front door. 10 he's coming back out again. <laughs> Fair enough. down towards the actual ferry. Staff is parked next to the ferry, yes. What are we doing then, Hunter? Are we shifting or are we sitting? Uh, I'm staying here for the moment. Uh, shift, would you mind finding out if it's alright if I can pop down to where you CC guys are and grab a, a group photo, seeing as I'm in light bulb colours with my truck, please? Would you mind asking if it's alright for me to pop down to you guys over there at the CC so that I can grab a group photo with everybody? Uh, we're just grabbing a couple of photos for us now. But once we're done, it should be fine. 10 4. I want to spin round because hopefully I can head down that way. Right, I'm going to save and quit and I'll catch you guys later. No worries, train, have a good one. Thanks for the um, chat, Hunter. It was great to speak, chatting with you again. Yeah, no worries, man, no worries.
I cannot pop. I want to get into this white line. Wait a minute, where am I? Take your pictures now, Hunter. We're all about to leave. Yeah, no, I'm all done, thanks. I'm just going to quickly head over to the local, to the nearest garage, just so that I'm in a non-collision zone with this truck. Um, absolute massive well done to Lightning for organising the event. Massive thank you to everybody that's donated. We did reach £688 raised. It was minus a couple of pence because of the euro conversion. Um, but overall, brilliant event as they normally are when Lightning's organising them. Um, if you spot any events on ETS2 that has been produced, that's been uh, created by AVX Lightning, do definitely look at attending. Uh, why does my trailer not want to hook up? No, right, no, don't. So yeah, I'm going to call it here. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure streaming this event. Um, I've got a couple of screenshots that I'm going to post out in a moment. That money will get used very nicely by the RNLI. Uh, all £688 of that is going direct to them. Um, plus, I believe there is some gift aid on top of that. So, I believe, let me see if I can bring it up quickly. Um, so, we hit the amount. Uh, show more. 50. Yeah, we've hit, including the gift aid, we've hit seven hundred pounds.
so that is brilliant um, so actual donation wise it's 688 pound and then there's another 15 pound of uh, gift aid donation on top of that the gift aid doesn't get taken out of people's donations that is added on top so that is and my brain's not computing we're trying to do maths so in total including the gift aid is 703 pound raised for the rnli during today's event so it has been an absolutely brilliant event for the very first one um i definitely look forward to more of these ones in the future i will definitely be streaming them again um massive massive shout out to tsi sport grandad for donating 500 pound to the rnli uh Iluk, thank you for your 50 euros neddy plays thank you for your 50 pound that you passed on from somebody else uh, Declan Keegan, thank you for your £50. Fly001, thank you for your 10 TXG Transport, thank you for your 20 And Landy Boy 1231 thank you for your 5 It is all very much appreciated. Um, as I said, that will get used very wisely by the RNLI. Uh, if I remember rightly, that does pay for two, people, two crew members' kit on an all-weather lifeboat. Um, and possibly a little bit more on top so absolute massive massive thank you to all of you and I will see you on my next stream bye Thank you.